when it when it gets to the hard times or the the harder situations. All right, so the winner is Olaf. GG, man, you got it. I'm gonna let you pick. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be the bulldog or do you want to be uh, the bug eye dude or the or the Mr. Bean looking dude? Or as someone said, uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Richard Hammond or something like that? Or someone someone Hammond? I looked at the picture of the guy, by the way, and he actually does look extremely similar to this character. It's pretty crazy. Don Fiore, welcome back. What's up? Uh, Odd Uneven, what's going on? Forsic Ring, what's going on, dude? Caviera, welcome back. Richard Hammer? Richard Hammond or something like that. It is Richard Hammond. Okay, sweet. Bug-eyed Mr. Bean, you want to be this guy. Okay, perfect. It does look like him. I just, I didn't, I didn't know what he looked like. And then I saw and I was like, shit. It's pretty true. Uh, Weez, what's up? Guy from Top Gear. Yeah, like that's what someone was saying. I've heard of Top Gear before as well, but I don't think I've ever really watched it. And if I have, I just, I don't remember. Uh, you, you have a joke to make, but it would be wildly inappropriate. Okay, well... I guess it depends. Like, if it's against the chat rules, then I would refrain. But otherwise... Jokes are funny. It might be a pretty good one. Game and Watch, welcome back. Nathan, how have you been, dude? I haven't seen you for a while. How's everything going? How's your music going as well? What's up? Uh, Brian Peppers? Who's Brian Peppers? Same bloke from Top Gear and that Amazon Prime trailer. Okay, I haven't seen any kind of trailer with, with the guy in it. Like, what, is Top Gear good? Is it a good show or something? Uh, Tanker Darren, welcome back. I know you're gonna say if I if I miss like one extra thing from you that I didn't say hi, and I did see you, I just was thinking of something else and didn't go back to that thought. I apologize, but welcome. What's going on, man? There's no way that you can say that I forgot. Is Top Gear good, the nerve on this guy? I'm sorry, dude. I know it's, it must be popular. I just... Uh, yeah. Sun Ryan, what's up? How are you doing today? American Top Gear avoid at all costs. Top Gear is boring. Uh, Edgy Dabs haven't had me say hi to you in five days. I even jumped over your hello a second ago. I'm sorry, dude. I was probably fighting Gundyr. Like, by the time you said it, like, with the delay and me just catching up on other stuff, like, I'm not even up to date on, like, things. Like, I'm probably over a minute behind right now myself. Uh, want to give you the ride to the pharmacy to pick up some tissues. Uh. 
No, Edgy, honestly, I apologize, dude. I, it's not my goal for that to, to happen. I gotta. I used to scroll chat for a while until it became the case that I was doing speedruns. Then I knew that I couldn't scroll unless I was on a quitout. And if I had caught up with everything on a quitout, then I didn't want to wait to catch up on stuff that hadn't happened yet. So, like, I would just go back in. Then a bunch of stuff would happen when I couldn't quit out. And then I'd have to scroll up, but I couldn't. And by the time I wanted to, it would be gone. So there'd be no way to see it, you know? Even if I did scroll up, it would be gone. So it's like... I kind of got used to that from speedruns, and now I just don't scroll up as much anymore. But I also kind of just, it's, it bothers me to not constantly be, like, moving through the run unless there's something that, you know, is more important to explain at the time or whatever. Like, there are times where I'm just like, I want to I wanna just keep going and get through stuff. Because I feel like if I take too many breaks in the run, it's going to throw it off a bit. Current best attempt at this? Uh, pretty much the entire game, and then we have a one-hit PB as well, which was... But 70% through, but best run in terms of zero hits was most of the game, pretty much, like, almost the entire thing. Uh, Forsyth, do I speak French? I do not speak French, no. I know some French words, but I do not speak French. Uh, Smith Woodward, what's up? How are you doing, man? I feel like I've seen that emote from somewhere before. Who who owns that? Read the title as Bo, like, in the as in the gesture. <laughs> A bowing only run. Uh, gotta go watch Dan Gan Ronpa three with some friends. See you later. All right, Valley, enjoy, man. I'm not sure what that is, but I've heard of it before. I, th I didn't think I, th I thought that was a game. I didn't think it was like a a movie or something or like a show. Uh, but yeah, I remember. I think I had seen that like. A long time ago, like not just recently, this is a while ago. I could have sworn maybe there is a game of it. I don't know. I could have sworn it was a game. Uh, DR one and two are games with anime adaptations. Okay, so it was a game. It's from EXP's channel. That's why it's familiar. So I have that emote. I just haven't used it before, but I've seen it. I see. French Canadians are rude in your experience? Uh, all the French Canadians I know are uh, really nice, actually. But, I mean... There, there could be other reasons someone's rude, not just because they speak French. It could be a coincidence that, like, there's people that are just mean, but they also happen to. But I don't think, like, being able to speak French as a Canadian is enough to dictate you as anything other than just that you speak French. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'm lucky you haven't... Uh, I haven't had any one that is particularly rude that is French that I've ever talked to or known. So, that's good. Or at least French-Canadian, not just French. Uh, Creo, what's up? Second best Canadian streamer right after Lobos. Is Lobos isn't Canadian. Lobos is, uh, is uh, from Texas, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I appreciate that, though. Thank you. Burrito, welcome back. How have you been? Mayfield, what's up? What is this, Grizzcall? That's a baby, dude. You think it's French people, not French Canadian? Even French people, I mean... I don't know, I've never been to France, obviously, that would kind of help with that, but I don't know. I feel like when you, when you if you summarize something like that, it's kind of like not really giving it a chance if you kind of place those stereotypes it's like it's probably a lot of nice french people there's, there's just people that are assholes everywhere you can't avoid that like the demeanor of someone alone shouldn't dictate i guess if they actually are intentionally being like rude to you maybe i feel like maybe sometimes things come off as a way that you perceive it but there, but it's not like the way it is it's just like maybe the vibe that you're getting from it so maybe like with uh just the 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 way that some people say things maybe it seems like that's the case but it's not I don't know. Well, I guess I'm lucky in that way. I haven't had anybody that was particularly particularly rude that was French that I've had to deal with. Texas is the 14th province of Canada. Oh my god. Are you going to actually start coming in here and spilling all the secrets of the country? 
Don't tell anybody that, man. There's only so many people that know that right now. That was just discovered recently, too. Like, I can't believe you're just breaking into the stream and saying that kind of stuff. Who even let this guy in? Like, come on. You're spilling secrets. Uh, not killing the lady any anymore, Old Thunder? Welcome back, dude. Uh, I am killing her later on. Just to save a little bit of time. I mean, sometimes I still kill her at the beginning. If I if I start shooting her at the beginning, I just continue to finish it. Sometimes I accidentally fire, like, one arrow, and then I just gotta finish it off, but... Uh, most of the time, we'll, we'll just skip it so we can do it later. Because uh, it actually is faster to kill her later. And the 1,000 souls are not the most important thing, but... I mean, it helps a little bit. Matt Warbuckle, what's up? Orphan of Cost is about five times more difficult than anything else in Bloodborne. You're getting destroyed. He's pretty bad. I agree with you there. Uh, I was impressed too. Like, I played the DLC with a level 60 character, and I think I was like, I'm not going to put any more levels into it. I actually put like another 10 to 15 levels in just for that fight, because I was like, you know what? I'm going to do anything it takes just to win, because I, I am tired of getting destroyed on that. And it was pretty hard. It took like five hours, and everything else took like less than an hour at least. Um, is my PB one burrito? It is, yes. PS2, you could have an arrow ready and still walk. Ah, uh, you can do that in this. Modstar, thank you for the host, dude. Welcome back. How was your stream? Off to a good start. Off to a start in general. <laughs> I don't think it is, is, I mean, as nice as that is for you to say, I feel like there is no such thing as a nice start in this, in this run. It's just like, there's a start or there's nothing. And nice start is just not applicable because the start of this run is not nice at all. It, it really sucks. But I mean, like, I, I don't have, like, the high wall syndrome. I, I know a lot of people that do where they just, they hate high walls so much they refuse to play runs anymore or just they, they just dread having to start runs because of high wall. I don't mind high wall. I just, I, the, that fight on this run sucks. Come on, get, what, what are you doing? Just attack me. Jesus. That was weird. Beast pellets helped you against Orphan. See, I didn't really want to. I didn't want to dip into the beast pellets on on the first time through the DLC because I was afraid that like that would make it harder, right? Uh, ever had Starbucks before, Caviar? Are you asking me that or somebody else? Uh, Hero of Canton, what's up? By the way, I read what you said, but I didn't say hi to you, so I'm gonna say hi to you. Hello. Ludwig Sword as well. 
Yeah, I think I, I think I used the cane. I used the uh, thready cane. DLC is pretty bad. And then what I did was I saved Lawrence until uh, after I completed it. Then I went back on another character that was level 10 with the claws. And that was ridiculous. So the world might be mended. Hi, Daddy. Uh, I'm thank you for the two months in a row, man. Welcome back. Continue to enjoy your remotes and be an A skeleton. Uh, Monster, you finally beat SL1. Congrats. What are you What are you planning now? What's the next uh, the next thing? Crow, what's up? I wasn't even that bad. The game starts to get more mundane right around Cathedral, in your opinion. That's also another place that I feel like a lot of people don't like either. I, I can appreciate Cathedral, but it's kind of annoying for uh, for runs. It's definitely not fun. In some some cases. I think it's mostly just because of the dogs, though. It's not really anything else. Oh, yes, okay, maybe the dogs and the... <laughs> the dogs and the Grave Wardens and the Thralls and all that, but... The dogs are the worst. Uh, Kelike, thank you for the host, dude. Maximus, what's up? Welcome back, Sidenal, what's going on? I believe great bows only immobilize you when you draw. Yeah, the regular bows you're able to walk with on this. That That's like one of the things they adapted from DS2. How do you kill Dancer SL1, Kella? What rings? Uh, for SL1, if you're not going to be trying to use RTSR, I recommend Lloyd's Sword Ring. Uh, and then depending on if you have armor on or not, uh, you could use Lloyd's Shield Ring. But there's no point of using it if you don't have armor as well, I feel, because then you could just use RTSR instead if you were going to be practically getting one shot anyways. So Lloyd Sword Ring, Lloyd Shield Ring, optional. Uh, Chloranthi, probably a good idea. Carthus Blood Ring and Flynn's. That's what I'd recommend. And then that's if you're using a weapon that doesn't require any rings to be able to use this. So uh, if it's just a regular like broadsword and stuff, you're, you're pretty good with those rings. Ever want to stop by the tree balls and say hi? <laughs> Sometimes I feel tempted to, but then I'm like, oh, I know what's going to happen if I go in there. Only bad things can happen. Uh, what's the great bow that looks like a normal bow but slightly bigger? Um, I don't know, but I want to guess Millwood because people told me you could like move around with Millwood bow and not have to worry about planting it in the ground. So I feel like that could be what you're thinking of. I, have, I haven't seen it though, so I don't know. That's, that's a good question. Uh, you're in a queue to log into a game, 2k18 people. A queue to log into a game, wait, for what? For which one? Uh, Kasha, thank you. I appreciate it. RTSR isn't available by Dancer anyways, but you do recommend Lloyd Rings. Yeah, RTSR is kind of a decision. You either go with that, and then you sacrifice the armor and all that stuff, or if you do armor, you could just add even more defense with Lloyd Shield. And then do Lloyd's Sword instead of RTSR. But it kind of depends. Also, the ring that Gundir gives you. Uh, the Prisoner's Chain is pretty good, too. Uh, you have no clue why it's so difficult for you to kill Vort Hitless. As for example... Uh, wait. As for example, Sullivan or Cinder, you think Karthus Blood Ring makes it much easier? Uh... Maybe you just have a hard time on Vort, man. There, there, could, there could just be the case that you just can't grasp it as much or something. I wouldn't... Karthus doesn't make it that much easier. It only gives you two frames. And two frames out of 60 frames in a second in an animation that only has... A, what, like a... Like, just maybe a fifth? Just between a fifth and a sixth of those frames in a second? A fifth of a second? Like, that's not really humanly, like, comprehensible or comprehensible. It's not really something that you you would notice that much i think it really just saves you on the attacks with the hitboxes that are broken so like on princes you can roll a time that looks like it works and it works but if you roll when it looks like it works and you don't have the ring it doesn't work because the hitbox on one of their attacks is just absolutely it doesn't make any sense right uh you cannot be touching them at all and you get hit so basically uh it helps with those kinds of things is one attack on dancer as well i i look at it as literally that ring is helpful for two attacks in the entire game 
That's why sometimes I, I don't even really use it on certain stuff in this too, because it's not really like that important. But I guess if you were like really, really uh, sloppy with certain things, like you could get away with doing something super early if you're still getting better at it and it might help like by a tiny bit, but it's only two frames though. So it's not really like huge, right? Like maybe if the game only was, uh, you know, half the the frames or the animation was like half the frames or something and it was or everything was double i don't know uh girk what's up dude how are you doing so what what particularly about vort is uh the, is the trouble that might that might be a better thing to ask popper monstrous tank on sl1 with full armor lloyd shield prisoner's chain and steel ring plus three you tank Soul of Cinder without any issue. That's crazy, man. It's crazy. Prisoner's Chain better than Favor and Protection. I haven't used Favor and Protection, so I don't know. It's, pr it's probably similar, but obviously one would have to be better than the others, so... It's a good question. I don't know, like, what is... Prisoner's Chain, Prisoner's Chain does the same thing, doesn't it? Like, what's the, what's the downside? That Fapring breaks? Maybe it's the same thing as Prisoner's Chain, but it just breaks because it has better stats than Prisoner's Chain. Uh, Grim Blast, what's up? How's it going, dude? Matt, I'm doing well. How are you? Also, Vandalism, welcome back. Girk, if I didn't say hi to you, I might have already. I'm sorry if I did. I apologize. I usually just double check on that in case, because honestly, man, the way I reach out sometimes, I feel like there's no way I couldn't have said hi to somebody, but then I might have, because it's not in order, so. Uh, P it, what's up? Stygian Black, what's going on? Uh, Triad, you're one boss away from favor and protection, so you'll go with it for now. Yeah, it's, it's probably really good, but there must be some sort of difference with Prisoner's Chain, because it's the same kind of effect. Uh, Hannes, things are going well so far managed to not murder anybody yet. How are you doing? Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be made. Uh, Zayteki. Or Zay Zayteki. Zayteki. Uh, thank you for the brand new sub, man. For the first time in your feeble, cursed life, Zayteki. <clears throat> you have discovered the secret circle of the Squilluminati. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy being a skeleton man. Welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, how do you talk so much? Is it something you were born with or something you had to teach yourself when you started streaming, Creo? Uh, I have, I have, uh, adult ADHD, man. I just can't stop. Like, my brain doesn't, uh, I, I usually can't, uh, stop. It's just one of those things, man. It's not really my choice. I'm not trying to talk as much as I do. I have a very, very high-rated attention thing so my brain's just like fucking all over the place um but i also just i'm streaming too so i mean i guess it's an advantage i said that a long time ago i mean i feel bad for someone that isn't able to converse as much i mean you can be someone that doesn't talk much and be successful with streaming but it's probably harder though um but yeah it's not practice literally just i don't have a choice <laughs> South, unless I took like drugs or something to stop uh, but I don't want to do that Riff what's up good luck and perfect accuracy on headshots for the runs tonight thanks man I need those headshots do I talk to myself no I don't talk to myself I just mean like if you imagine like the way your brain works like I mean, if anyone has, like, an attention order disorder, you would know, but, like, I've been tested. I have a very high, uh, rating. It was, uh, 70% adult ADHD, which is surprising, because I thought I only had ADD, but, 
Uh, yeah, like, I, I've known for a while. Like, when I was little, I didn't take naps as a baby. Uh, I usually just, like, rushed my work in school when I was a kid to do other things and stuff like that. So, just one of those situations, you know? It was, like, always on my report cards that, like, I just finished my work too fast and then just, like, do other shit. So, I just, I, I don't like the uh, effects of the medication they'd give you for it, because I had a really good friend that turned into someone that I didn't even want to be around because of that stuff, so. Like, he, he even knew it was just kind of depressing. It just turns you into, like, a zombie, so. I'd rather not, but, uh. But, yeah, as long as no one's, like, straight up, like, annoyed or anything. Um... Pretty different though, you'd know uh, which you had if you knew you had one. The problem is though, that's the thing man, like, maybe it's not even really, maybe maybe there, to a degree there's some of that there, but maybe there's not really Kami, a clear Kami, way of, knock, knock. Who's of, there? of ah. pew, pew, dictating pew, pew, that pew, kind of pew, stuff, because like, pew, pew. see like, I have an uncle and he has, he, he he's had ADHD like to a degree that's like beyond, like he can't even like be in one place. Like he has to always just do something and he, he's like, you can tell like he, he literally tries to like rush you to the end of every conversation. I've had to like practice over time trying to like not interrupt people as much and not like instantly stop listening to somebody after the first like three words and think of other things. Like I have to focus on trying to not do that stuff and I've gotten better at it, but like he's, he's still like that where like he'll, he, you can tell he's like literally about to like explode, like, cause it's just, it's there. And I always thought the difference was like, okay, like that's hyper disorder. And like, I don't have a hyper disorder cause I've never like been that like that, but, um, there's still the same signs there for like other stuff, you know, I guess, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I agree with the hyper part, that's the thing. But it said that on the test, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man, that's what they told me. Uh, but it could just be like overdiagnosed and silly. I just know that, again, when I think of shit, it's usually a lot of stuff at once. And uh, it's hard to pay attention, unless like I'm really, really invested for certain reasons, you know? Um, Tender, thank you for the, the bits, man, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Kame, hame, knock, knock, who's there? Ha, pew, pew, pew. Ah, oh, you got me. Have you ever done the glitch that makes you run sideways until you roll out of it? I've had that happen, but not intentionally, though. And I was running, like, backwards. Or I was running, like, towards the camera, but moving the other way. And it was on Gundyr, too. I think that's the only time I've seen it happen to other people. Uh, Feynman, what's up? Welcome back, dude. Uh, never been tested, but you and your family are pretty sure you have ADAD. Well, it's pretty easy to see depending on how, like, severe it is. Like, I don't know. Uh, there's been a lot of people I've known before that I, like, let's just say, like, when I was not acquainted with them as much, like, they would instantly say, like, you know, like, I can tell, like, you're, like, really just, you know, you're always ready to say something or just, like, ready to, like, you know, move to the next thing, like, really quickly and it's like just in conversation and that's why I tried to work on that because I know that it's uh, it's probably annoying for someone to talk to somebody like that and I have other friends that have that same thing too where like my one friend he's really just like uh I guess he, he has a lot to say at once like not necessarily that like he'll he'll like rush to like the next thing like it's like a tiny thing here and there it's like he'll ha he, he has a lot to say at once that could be said like you know, in, in a lesser amount, but I can appreciate that because I understand what the, what it's like. And it's like, I, I just have to wait a long time for him to be ready. But then if I say something too, like he'll have a lot to say about all that too. And it's the same thing. And it's just like, I, I know for some people that aren't like that, it might be hard to like, you know, discuss things with people. Cause you're like, shit, I can't have a conversation. So yeah. Um, probably will never be completely, you know, good, but I don't want to take like Ritalin and shit or Adderall, so we will avoid that. Rather not be like hating myself or anything like that. Uh, TV, welcome back. What's up? A friend of yours has been on ADHD meds for half his life or so. Uh, oh, it's not letting me scroll chat right now. Yeah, we need to get out of here quickly. Scariest DS3 character you've seen ever. <laughs> it's pretty bad, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, you seem normal to me, but you're weird. Oh, I mean, like, there's nothing that's abnormal about having attention issues. It's not like a, like a bad thing necessarily. Like, there's a lot of good things that you probably could use it for. But, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just what it is. I don't know, like I said, I put it, I put time into uh, trying to be more tolerable over the, over the years, like especially since I was a kid. Um. Okay. Those meds are awful. Better go for sports to put the energy into something than, than be a zombie. Yeah, but it's not even like that though. That's the thing. I don't like feel like explosive like that way like i've for example like when you take like a pre-workout or something like that like when you f you feel like that that's what i would imagine being like truly truly hyper you know that that like all the time you'd feel like that and that's not how i felt uh never at any time it's been like that it's more of just in my head you know that's why i said i disagreed with their uh their rating that they gave for me with the stuff because i was like it's it shouldn't have an h there it should just be like add but I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it doesn't. You don't have to actually be like super, super, uh, like ready to like break things and stuff and jump around. Uh, can't tell a story right because you talk so fast. Yeah, that's another thing too. I can understand that. But uh, hey, honestly, I I wouldn't worry about it. Hyper focus is a thing. Okay. So what, what's the definition of that? Uh, your friend takes Adderall to help him study in college and he doesn't have ADHD? You tell him it's bad? Yeah, a lot of people do that stuff. It's not good at all. Okay. So this is a weird situation. I don't know if this guy's going to go back or not. You have to wait and see. There are very different forms. Okay. Yeah, and that's and that's kind of what I was I was confused about. I was like, why would it be hyper, you know, related? Uh Boneheed, welcome back. What's up, dude? Uh your net cut out for a little, so you're not here for twenty minutes, but you're back. Hey, you know what? The net cuts out twenty minutes later, we're even further on the run. There you go. Even better. Yeah, we're gonna have to homeward bone this. It's not safe enough. This guy's just deciding to wait, so I have to do that again. Uh, Azu, yeah, the DualShock 4, I'm, I'm just done with the whole trying to get it to connect and reconnect and fix it and stuff like that. So I'd rather just have something that works immediately. Joe Quinn, welcome back. What's up, dude? How are you? Uh, taking meds for uh, schizophrenia, bipolar, anxiety, depression, and sleeping. That's a lot, dude. Holy shit. Do you feel like there's any, like, downsides that you would, like, kind of, you know, say makes you, like, worse in certain ways with all that? Like, from, from, from taking the medicine for it? Can't complete much of what you start. Uh, it is physically painful to try to do so, like the flu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I don't know. Like, like I said, like, there's some things you can definitely work on, but there's things you can't really fix. Okay. What the hell just happened there? That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Come on. Thank you. Uh, as you know, it's wired, man. Well, it's like plugged in, so all you have to do is plug it in and, and it's, it works. For the DualShock 4, um, it is not just like plugging it in and it works. You have to like have a driver that makes it work. So the inputs are registered and the software for it was giving me a lot of issues. Uh, Wabbitgem, what's up? How are you doing? A lot of trouble coming up with words to say, and you think it's turning you into a partial mute, which is really scary to you. Hmm. Have you talked to anybody about that? Like a professional that knows about, you know, things that can, you know, relate to those those effects and stuff? Or just relates to those kinds of things you're going through? 
how much time you have been streaming since first stream, Hellriker? Uh, since the first time I ever tried to stream in general, uh, probably like three years. Oh fuck, this is stupid. Got like three years since the first stream. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but I don't know. You can't really count. Like, when I started streaming, it wasn't really starting streaming. It was just, like, trying to, like, learn how to stream. Like, I actually technically started in 2015, so it's, like... I should have basically tried to somehow research and, and test all that stuff beforehand, but there wasn't really a way for me to do that because I didn't know, like, how you would test it. I didn't even know... I, I didn't know anything at all. I didn't know anybody that knew anything either, so I just had to do it myself. And that was just by failing a lot, so... Um... Wasn't really a stream, because there, there wasn't a way to watch it. It was literally just some, like a signal that would go up for like a minute, then it would crash, and it would just be dropping frames constantly. Just And I would just kind of like go back to it every few days to see if I could get it to like work better and stuff. It wasn't really like I was able to stream. I was like trying to make sense of OBS and all that. I wasn't equipped to, though. I definitely shouldn't have even tried, but I somehow got past that. Wait, why are we trying to kill this dude again? Oh, oh my god, this is stupid. Okay. Gotta go back. Uh, were you having issues because you're trying to have the inputs to show? Use a DualShock on PC because Steam supports it. Uh, it wasn't about the input showing, it was like the controller actually connecting to the computer. It just wasn't making the connection. Uh, like it would just, it would work and then it would stop working and then the, the device itself wouldn't even register in the USB port, but other USB devices would, so I had to like delete the information in the control panel of the device, then reinstall the device, then reset it up with the driver software again and do all these things in all these different orders, uh, trying to troubleshoot exactly what component and what order was the problem. And then it would solve itself, but there'd be no clear answer because I could fix it in different ways, but there's still no easy way to do it. And then it would end inevitably just stop working again, so there'd just be no fix in the end anyways. And I listened to every suggestion everyone gave. I tried. People made suggestions that I'd already tried. I looked it up. I put a long time into it. It's not worth it. 100% not worth it. It's complete trash. And uh, it's good because I actually did need a DualShock for PS4, but I will never use it on PC again. It's just too much time wasted. And, I mean, like, I already wasted enough time with you guys trying to go over it. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I owe it to you to not uh, use uh, unreliable stuff. So, I can't, uh, can't be doing that. Pride, what's up, dude? Aren't you on Steam? Steam has native support for DS4. Cosmo, I had trouble with that as well, man. Even before the fact of using DS4 tool or uh, anything. Like, when Steam support came out in, in beta all the way till the full release, I tried it over and over. And there's problems with that as well. So, I kind of just went with the, the driver software that I was using before that, and it was working for a while. Then DS4 tool itself didn't work with the newer version of the DualShock 4. At all, it didn't. It didn't register. There's anything going on at all for some reason. But then other people said that theirs worked and it was newer. So I have I, I, I troubleshot every hardware possibility and every software possibility, and it just and it was able to be fixed, but it wasn't clear, and then it would just stop. So it's like, I I don't know. Is this still the Olaf run? It is actually the Olaf run still. Yes. It's possible to survive only from stream in DS3 or just the mo most popular, like PUBG. Uh, most popular streamers, like really, really popular. I mean, like you're 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 really doing well. Like, I don't know. Uh, on the upper end of things, you're like, like anyone that's like a top streamer right now probably could retire and they'd be fine for the rest of their life. They wouldn't have to worry. I'm obviously not able to retire right now, but I mean, I'm also in a position that's like. There's no point of, like, giving up the opportunity. It would be absolutely stupid. I would hate myself forever if I, uh, somehow... I mean, like, obviously if I wasn't enjoying what I was doing and I didn't want to make streams for you guys and all that, then I wouldn't, but... If I'm... If, if it's, you know, if everything is going well, then it's, it would be stupid to, to not do that. But, um... But, no, uh, you could, you could full-time stream with a lot less than, than what we have going on. 
I mean, it just it depends on your life as well. I mean, there's people that full time stream that aren't partnered either, or like that are, like they they go into streaming to make it full time right away or something. So I mean, there's some people that pull off some pretty mirac miraculous stuff. I wouldn't recommend that. I would say like, no, it works for you first. You know, if it if it's supportive enough to what you need, then good. But um, it's all case by case. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Trout, what's going on, dude? Today's the day for the zero hit run. I hope so. Hope so, man. Good evening, Ferris chat. What's with this Ferris shenanigans? What's with this Ferris stuff? These these things. Uh, oh, JLP. I see. Now your name's Jack LP. Okay, that's easy to remember, though, because it's still JLP. So that might be the easiest name change. Or, or just one of the easier ones. What's going on, man? Okay, we're gonna get... Uh, where's the bow? Ashen. See, I have no idea, but like, we just apparently didn't have enough souls for that. Probably need to sell the stuff. That would make more sense. Voiceovers for lore videos. I got offered a thing for Witcher Three, but I turned it down, man. Uh, but if there was a Souls-related thing that was cool, I, I'd probably say yes. Depending on how how exciting it would be to do. Like if I was really really into the idea. But uh, I don't think I would do my own. I would never like uh, create a channel to do that myself because it's never been like a thing that I've been interested in. I can appreciate, like, other people doing them well, but, uh, yeah, I don't think that would be my role. Do you want to stream, but you're only 60% water? <laughs> uh, was your name change easy? No, it wasn't. I thought, it, I thought you were so, you could have been anybody, man. Like, I wouldn't have known. That's why I still have to call you string to keep, keep you close. Keep your original self preserved. Um, but yeah. Didn't have your caddy sleep on your lap right now. It's wonderful. That's nice. Yeah, animals are pretty cool, man. I mean, I I love when people are like, they 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 dislike like so they they're they're selective of certain animals, especially when they're like really similar animals too. It's like unless you're allergic or something, I feel like it's weird to be selective with like like hating certain animals versus not hating others, like when they're very closely comparable. So. I just, I like pretty much everything. I don't care. I mean, there's some insects that are pretty weird, but like, I'm, I can appreciate any kind of animal. Uh, Isis, what's up, dude? You made it for Abyss Watchers. Also, we have no levels for the, the strength this time because I apparently didn't have enough souls. I think it's because I didn't put on Silver Serpent Ring earlier and I should have put it on a little bit sooner. Yeno, what's up? The Spooters. <laughs> Who, okay, who has that torture mode? I've seen so many people use that. Oh, that's the deck one. Okay, I see. I see. You'd be so so, so immersed, call up Vadi. If Vadi asked me to do something for one of his things, honestly, because I just like the stuff that he does. I've, I've liked the stuff that he's done for a while. Depending on what it was, I'd probably say yes. But if it was like something that didn't fit, like, you know, what, what I have interest in or what I would be good at, I don't think it would be worth it. Like, he'd probably do a better job than me. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever do anything that would fill his role if he was asking for help with something. But I get, guarantee you he wouldn't ask me for help. I don't think he needs it. Uh, Troutwig, that was just uh, the first PSN that I had. And the reason that I chose that is because I wanted it to be something that was really hard for someone else to already have taken. So I just did that. And I don't remember why, like, specifically. There was something to do with, like, um, like the word itself was, like, used with... Uh, me and people I knew for something, but I have no idea. I don't remember what it was for. It was something. It was so, something really stupid, probably. But um, I just I was I was trying to think of just original things because everyone that I knew that was on PSN, they all had like really cool names, and I was like, I want to have one that's not limited to numbers or you know anything like that. So that's all it was. 
probably could have came up with something a lot better or stopped, you know, still using that. But I, I honestly don't care. I think the most important thing is don't associate yourself with uh, branding that you have to escape later. That's the that's the problem. That's why for the emotes, uh, they're not heavily Souls themed, uh, only like some references. The badges could be applicable to anything, even though they have inspiration from Souls. It doesn't really matter channel name graphics and stuff like that some of the stuff w would have to go but not everything i wouldn't have to change my name if i decided to play like a different thing in the future and like grind that instead so i don't I, I would never wanted to associate myself with a certain game or a certain time in 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 like the streaming and stuff like that i'd move away from so um that was important too because there's people that make their name like you know like ryan dota 241 or something or like uh LOL, like, Matthew, or, uh, like, Counter-Strike, like, CSGO, this and that. It's like, if you put, like, the name of a game in your name, that's cool if you're playing that game. People might like that, but when it comes down to it, who really cares about anyone's name anyways? I mean, it's just a name. So, uh, I mean, at least for your own sake, try to, like, not put a game in that name so you can at least be a little bit more consistent with that name throughout time. Oh, and that's that's the case like and the funny thing is I mean like I chose that and the first person I ever PvP'd with in uh, Bloodborne was someone that I knew before I streamed in uh, DS1 that I used to like play uh, like PvP with a lot and this wasn't a case where we set up a thing to PV PvP I hadn't talked to the dude for like so many years like at least I don't know like three or four years and he was just randomly the first person that invaded me or I invaded him or something like that on Bloodborne ever and it was live and there was no way to like fabricate it I even had him on my friends list still from when I had a PS3 but like and it was him and we checked and we went through it and everything was the same and the chances of that happening you know it's whatever but I was thinking I'm like maybe he still recognizes me because you know the name's still the same and then maybe he like will find the stream or something like that and believe it or not he did so it was just like things like that are pretty cool um, but yeah, we're getting really unlucky on these dark wraiths. That sucks. Mosquitoes are universal hate animals. Mosquitoes are kind of scary, but they're also cool the way they work. Did you know that there are spiders that can fly? The daredevil arachnids seem to steer themselves through the air with movements of their outstretched forelegs. Have fun with open windows. Uh, string, thanks, man. The daredevil arachnids seem to steer themselves through the air with movements of outstretched forelegs. How fun open windows. That's that's terrifying. Why'd you make that sound so terrifying? You definitely copied that from somewhere. Uh, why are you massac massacring them? Uh, remind you of face huggers? Uh, so I don't even know that's what I mean like the word itself was just used in in, di in like conversation with me and like other people when I was younger but I don't remember why um I don't know how it was made up and I honestly I think it was literally just a word that sounded funny because like there was like some sort of uh theme that we were discussing like me and like a couple friends and we're like yo it's like if this person said this and then we just said that and we thought it was funny and it fit the situation or something but I don't remember what it was specifically it was just some made up thing and it doesn't mean anything at all to me, really, other than just easy to, you know, use the name. Uh, Lex, what's up? How's it going? Uh, Cats, welcome back. Happy Friday. Jack, am I hyped for DS1 Remastered? I don't know if I'm going to be getting it yet, so I can't get excited yet. But I will be looking forward to it if I, if I see that there's changes that are worth getting it for. But I don't know yet. There's not, there's not any more information that's new on uh, what specific changes they're going to be making aside from what's already been stated and that's mostly just pvp related stuff and the obvious things uh soggy socks what's up dude headphones are beginning to break one side works better than the other olaf that's what happens with mine all the time because i always buy the same ones so basically uh and it's always the right side literally i've never had one break that had the left side uh break first and i check for like a short in the cable and then there's no the, the thing is like sometimes that's the case but then the, the last time it happened there was no short in the cable that was making it happen but sometimes if i like wiggled my ears the sound would come back on the right one and i checked like the connection right beside where the like the, the actual butt is itself and there's nothing where if you like move the wire it'll it'll like fade back in or anything it just sometimes comes back randomly and it's really weird so it must be inside the actual uh like the the piece that goes in your ear something like that 
must have uh, fucked up. But like, I would say I take pretty decent care of them and stuff. HD like, that's, on SMO though. They just they just seem to break like really fast because they're cheap, and I like them, so I'm cursed. Can't really commit to the uh, fancier earbuds. 4K VR. The lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Uh, Rabbit Bones, thank you very much for the brand new sub, man. For the first time in your Rabbit Bones life, you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your remotes, enjoy being a skeleton, Rabbit Bones. Thank you, man. Say hi to your girlfriend, Coradina. She has a crush on your voice. <laughs> Hello, Coradina. Did I say your name right? Don't don't trust uh, don't trust Lexi's bringing you to a place that's gonna corrupt your mind with evil things. It's not worth it. You're gonna have st you start having dreams of like creatures and stuff, and and you're gonna wake up like salivating, like biting things and crawling on all fours, crawling on the ceiling like The Exorcist, and whispering under your breath. It's not good. Bad things could happen. Lex, how dare you, man? You can't you can't bring loved ones, family, or friends near the stream. It's gonna it's gonna taint them like it tainted you. This is a danger we've already spoken of before. Ah, uh, fool of Faskin, what's up, dude? Alright, this is a pretty bad start. No way, Reggie's still alive? Dude, this guy hasn't even died yet. How how is he still alive? Holy shit. He's he's only he's been on one life and he's still alive. Holy shit, man. He's got like a third of health left. Oh my god, this is a crazy fight. That was insane. That was insane. I thought it was gonna start off really bad and then just kinda continue that way, but that was pretty nuts. Reggie greater than Solaire.
Alright, GG. Big Smoke, why do I hate you? I don't hate you, man. Come on. So that's not a lot of arrows, the ones that I have? Yeah, we have enough to, to finish that fight. Big Smoke, get- wait, what? Oh wait, someone gifted you a sub before, I guess. I don't remember who it was. Uh, Fat Man, what's going on? Joe Kramer, what's up? Boosted, welcome back. Keep waiting until I say hello, to be honest. Okay, there we go. Hello. Uh, K, welcome back. How are you doing today? How's your Friday going? 92 damage is that much of his HP? Uh, pretty much, yeah. They don't, they're, they're, they're a pretty early boss. They don't have a lot of health. Uh, you should sing Abyss Watchers theme while fighting them. Creo, I feel like we already went over this before. Unless unless it was someone else that mentioned that. That was something that was brought up before. Uh, amazing how much damage the bow does to the Watcher. Yeah, that's also with like the best arrows at this point, though. We got the, uh, the feather ones, right? They're really expensive, so we can only get 40. Uh, and then we can't even level after that. I'm not sure if it would be better to just level and then get the regular arrows for this part. It, it might be better. I don't know. Uh, string, thank you again. Every boss is calling each other saying, watch out for a naked man that looks like a clown with a bow. He's wrecking shit, be ready. <laughs> Kello, welcome back. Uh, staggering him before he can cast. Get into a good rotation. For Sage. Oswin, welcome back. Uh, Ryusei, what's going on? Thank you for the GG. Uh, Joe kicks ass. What's up, man? Lucky, what's going on? This is disrespectful to watch. Get us fuck at this. Uh, well, man, I'm trying to get this run right now, and... I mean, I put a lot of time into it so far. Not like in like a ridiculous amount, but, but quite a bit quite a bit of time into this run, so... It's kind of got to be that way. It's not really like we have a choice. Like, if I'm going to get zero, I have to do everything perfect. And I have to do most things perfect all the time, so... Um, for me, it's literally just standard procedure it's just like how it is i appreciate that though uh zero what's up reggie's the real mvp i can't believe he pulled that off i have never seen him survive that long i've seen him take people down quickly but i've never seen him survive that many rotations of the other guy you know it's like he was alive for the entire fight but like it stretched out a decent amount so he was uh he was just really Really aggressive. Maybe the shots that I was throwing out there kind of helped him a bit, but it's interesting. Okay, that definitely is all four right there, so we're fine. Am I gonna no hit DS1 remastered NYC? I'm gonna be re redoing a lot of runs that I enjoyed before on DS1 if I do play the remastered one, yeah. I don't know if it would be a specific no-hit run uh, that I've done before. I'm, I don't think I would redo a no-hit run, but other challenges definitely. And uh, SL1 no-hits all bosses. If we get the any percent SL1 on DS1, then we'll probably be doing the all bosses of that on the remaster. That'll be like one of the first like big things on that. Because that would be just out of this world, and it is, it is possible. It's 100% possible. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited for that. That would that'd be a run that'd be really fun to do. Uh, the, the issue is how fast can we make it? We need to make it fast because uh, all boss runs of DS1 with no hits can be pretty long. So taking away the bow and taking away the... Uh, or I guess not taking away the bow, taking away the save quits. I'm wondering how th that would be done. I'm, I'm sure there's some sort of way. It's probably just going to be really hard. So we'll have to figure it out. Uh, bone heed. Should try mescaline. What? <laughs> I'd rather just, uh, you know, get get fucked by Miyazaki instead of uh, mescaline. <laughs> mescaline. Lins. Uh, gonna try to no hit this one. Remastered. Crawdad. What's going on, man? Welcome back. Uh, K. I'm not gonna be doing a stream like that. Probably. Maybe, maybe in the far future, like, for, like, one time ever. Like, just, like, a one-time thing if I can't find something to do. But, I don't know. I think it's just, like, an idea of, like, even if people liked it, I don't want to mix the content. And I don't want to make another channel for that. I want it to be very clear of, like, what's what's expected here. So, um, don't think I'd want to do that. But, 
but yeah I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point we'll figure out some middle ground. I, I, like, I was talking to Stay Plus about a run that is controlled by, uh, like, any instrument, and that would be pretty cool. So then there you go. Uh, did you ever Gobi? I still don't remember. Okay, you guys told me what Gobi was at one point. I don't remember that what it is now. But I remember it was one of those things where it was like, I was, like, left out of the loop and had no idea what you're talking about. Uh, mescaline is mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to play the run then, but... I mean, we could try, and we could try to go for like a 900 hit PB. Hey guys, look! It's gun deer! Meanwhile, I'm just like running into a tree. Uh, limited GIF, welcome back. Thank you for the good luck, dude. Follow GIF if you guys have not seen his stream before. You must be there. It's pretty damn cool, dude. And apparently he likes my shenanigans. I don't know why, but he does. So you must be appreciating that. I think it's safe to say if there's a check mark in the chat. Like, I heard another streamer say this before, and it, the way they put it out there, I guess I could kind of see from the perspective of, you know... The, being in the audience that like it might have seemed a little bit uh like oh like only follow people that are that are partnered but like if you see a check mark beside someone's name i wouldn't hesitate to check them out just in case because they obviously did something great to be able to get that opportunity so i mean and anyone that's here that i already know that is is a partnered You're streamer they're all really streamer. awesome I'm addicted to you less than three and there's also a lot of other awesome streamers that aren't either but that's almost like a guaranteed like way to, to know. Like, someone else has already given you a stamp of approval before you've even had to ask on that. Um, so. Should have, like, a rule with that. I'm addicted to you. String? That, the Kappa makes me feel like you're not, though. And it's, like, just a joke. And I, that, now I'm gonna cry, because, like, I thought I was, I was really happy for a second. I thought you were being sincere. I guess, I guess the Ballista loves me still. Even if you don't, the ballista will comfort me with its gigantic arrows that uh, demolish my character. I love you, Tilda. Ruthless mob, the Ron. The Ron is ruthless. Uh, when do we get another emote? Okay, we literally just got one. Uh, if you mean the next one, uh, it's gonna take. I, I honestly, I don't expect to get it. My my. If if we didn't get it this year, I would be okay with that. That'd be fine. Um, but I don't have any kind of like tricks or any kind of like little things that are planned to to try to go for it. If there's something that comes up where it's a good opportunity and it's like a a themed like promotion or there's something going on where there's like a discount on subs maybe i'll do a, a special kind of stream for it again but i i i don't know we'll see we, we'll see how long it takes to get there i don't expect it to be instant because it usually sh it should take you quite a while at this point to get emotes but uh we'll see you guys have just been insane so i don't i don't really have anything other than just extreme thank yous for everybody um that that got us this far but i don't think that uh it's important to worry about the next one yet i don't even know what it would be actually that's the that's the even funnier thing i think i think i'm at the point of uh where i usually don't have any ideas for the emotes now like ahead of time and like at the last second i might i might think of something like this time i got an idea just at, like a, out of nowhere at the last second and i was like you know what that actually that actually seems like it would work for the next slot and uh Maybe one of those will, will come up again, but I don't have any plans right now for what it would be. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what I'd want to replace at this point. I feel like everything's fine. Um, all right, we're going to go for the arrows. Ashen. Ballista tries to reach you, but can never get to you. Bible phone. 
yeah, it's always just like reaching out there being like, notice me, senpai, and I'm just like, no. Uh, do I remember all the lurkers of the channel? Uh, there'd be no way to remember every lurker, especially if like they didn't say much at all ever, because the way I remember people was based on how active they are in chat, um, or situations I can associate them with that are easy to remember. So like, um, maybe you only said something in chat one time, but it was just like one of these standout things that you couldn't forget. Like, I might remember that. Um, anyone that's lurking that's been around for a while, though, I probably I probably know of you. If I if you've never said anything or you've said something once and it was only like, you know, like a hello or just like entering a raffle, I don't know if I could remember that. Like, I can't look at every name and just remember the name that way. It would have to be with uh, associated with situations and stuff. Uh, I think at this point, though, to be fair, um, uh, I think I think I've remembered a, like a giant amount of people, a lot more than I thought I could ever. So. And, and not just, like, remembered names, but, like I said, remembered, like, like, other things that are important, obviously, like, you know, who the person is and shit, but, um, I think at a certain point, it's kind of hard depending on that person's activity. I mean, if you make yourself, like, very active in the community, it's, it's easy to, to remember. It's not gonna, like, make it, um, like, harder over time. If, if, like, there's more and more people that are part of the community, because, I mean, like, then everyone that was part of it before probably is still part of it. It's not like I'm going to just, like, forget, right? Like, there's people that haven't been here for over a year, haven't been here for two years, but because they were active in the community at one point, I can remember them, and I can associate the situations with them properly. What? I can't remember everything, though. Definitely not. You knocked, do I remember you? Nah, man. You were... Wait, I thought you were only here today. Like, I thought you just followed, man. My bad. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. You, you're, you're, you're remembered. I, God, God damn, we gotta, gotta go back. Gotta get the, uh, oh, we have, we have the dark sign though. And we only have 350 on this part, but yeah, we gotta go get the ring because the ordering of all that stuff is screwed up still. Apparently. Jeff, what's up? Be fun to sub for years and never say a word. Plus streak notifications empty. There's been people that have done that, man. Uh, there, there has been cases where people have been subbed for a long time and they've just never been in chat ever. Like they'll just say things in the sub messages, or they might just have the messages and that, or the notification, and that's it. And I, I'm okay with that. If you enjoy the stream, you enjoy the stream. Um, but I mean, it's nice to sometimes know a little bit more than that. It's not needed, but it's nice, though. All right, so where are we going? We're going to Walnir. And I need I need at least one Homeward Bone on him, or it's kind of risky, so this is, like, not a good situation. This is bad, because I don't know if I can actually manage to get a Homeward Bone for him. Mm. Like, we could sell these Titanites. That's a little bit. Still need another... 200. Alright, we're gonna kinda YOLO it just a little bit. I'll Dark Sign on Walnir if I need to. I mean, that's not really a big difference either way, because we don't have a lot of souls anyways. Uh, deleted, sir. Welcome back, dude. Communication is the key. That's true. It's very true. Uh, Battleship, they, this is the first one, man. This is literally the first one. Um, so we haven't done any other run than this. This is the Olaf run. Northern Van, how have you been, dude? It's good to see you again. How is life going for you? Uh, it's going well over here. I usually, you, you, you have posted a lot of stuff about The Division before on your Twitter. And, like, you've, you've had a lot of, like, really cool, like, screenshots and stuff. They'd be, like, really nice wallpapers or backgrounds. Like, that game that game has some nice little, little uh, like, scenes in it and stuff like that. Or, like, little, like, landscapes. All that. Can't you just save quit if you get bad RNG? There's no save quits allowed in this run, Corzy. I don't do any save quits on any challenge run for DS3. Unless it's like a thing where uh, it's a, it's like a shits and giggles challenge. If it's a no hit, a deathless, or any kind of like like thing that's kind of an achievement, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to save quit. If it's something where I'm dicking around, like oh I'm gonna use uh, you know like 
fists only or if I was going to do like a uh, item randomizer or something. I probably would quit out once in a while and it would be fine if it was just going to make something go faster because that's not really a big deal. It's just a, kind of like a for fun run. This one I wouldn't say is just for fun. This is definitely like you don't just do it and then it happens. You have to like grind it. So yeah. Ala Corbin, welcome back. I am glad. Auto Coulter, welcome back. What is the current PB? It's one hit. For the PB right now. And I still didn't fucking get it. Okay, well, at least we have the, the souls after wall near. That's the good news. And we don't even really need the ring for wall near itself, but. Man, it's so hard for me to, like, do the ordering this way, because, again, like, there's just been so many iterations of going through Smoldering Lake, then right to Dancer. It's like, it just overpowers me all the time. Wait, what the hell is that? What the hell? He's, he's like cancelled into the slam. I've never seen that before. That's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, you're going to ESA uh, in Sweden this year with some other streamers. Hope it'll be fun. Kohaku. That's awesome, dude. Are you doing a speedrun there? Or are you going to just be watching people that are speedrunning there? Yeah, ESA looks pretty cool, man. Um, definitely, definitely uh, let me know how that goes. No hit run while drunk lucky? I don't think so. I, uh, I'd rather stick with, uh, you know, being able to have it somewhat of a chance. I, I, I already, I already could probably sabotage myself enough without being intoxicated. I feel like, uh, that would just make it, like, just embarrassing constantly. So, I don't know. If someone did, though, that'd be amazing. I mean, I would, I wouldn't hesitate asking some other people that, uh, do no hit runs, because I would, I would actually enjoy watching someone do that and pulling it off. It would be very impressive. I feel like it would require a lot more luck than normal, but uh, it would be very impressive to see, so I can understand the interest. Okay, that was only two rats, I believe. Do a save quit every step for maximum safety. You know that to get out of catacombs backwards at the beginning of DS1, I actually had to save quit like 20 to 30 times just to make it across the pit of bone wheels. Because the character kept just dying instantly every time it touched one, and I was locked at that bonfire. So I basically had to reset or just somehow make it back out of there backwards. This is the best no matter what time it is. You always tune in on Watch Near It's a Miracle. <laughs> oh, wait, oops. Rat's gonna be coming from this way. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's good, being able to get here right after Watchers. That's a pretty good way to start off the run, because... The very, very beginning's a little bit... I don't know, I mean, it's bearable. I'm, I'm fine with it, but I know for some people, you might not want to watch Gundyr and Vorus, so... It's kind of a bonus. I mean, I would be hyped tuning into a run at this point, or after this point. Streamer isn't playing Moss Hunter Saltpot? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not a uh, mainstreamer. I'm not a mainstream flavor of the month -er. Oh, he just got knocked over. When you're drunk, you invite memes into your household. This is a meme-free stream. Yeah, right, dude. Meme-free? Have you even been here before, Jace? Have you even... Do you even know me? Don't answer it. It's too painful to hear your... The truth in your voice. When you admit that, yes. You, you know no memes. You've seen no memes here. You don't care. 
You don't even want to be here. You just, you, you just, you're here for the free juice boxes. That's it, man. Otherwise, you, you, you don't, you don't care about any of the memes. You don't appreciate them the same way. So to you, they mean nothing. But if, without the memes, I can't live. It's, it's not possible. I need those, uh, the molecule M in my DNA to be able to live. Pride, welcome back. I think I might have said hi to you earlier. Hunt, what's up? A firebomb? Yeah, you can use firebombs, man. They're items. Uh, okay. Yeah, that guy's just weak to fire, so it's a bit faster to do it that way. Let me think. We already got wall near, so now we can actually go back to here. And we should have enough arrows. So, I'm gonna level up first. Are you allowed to hit yourself in a no-hit run? Uh, I don't know how you would hit yourself in this game. Because firebombs don't hit yourself. Uh, like, off of walls and stuff like that. How dare you insinuate such nonsense? There's juice boxes, you've not received one. You probably drank the juice box and then threw it out before anyone noticed and then asked for another one, I bet. I bet you're like one of those, those uh, sippers. You just like to sip real quick and then throw it away. Be like, hey, I didn't even get one. Uh, G-Dog, welcome back. It's been a while, yeah, it has been a while, man. How's life going for you? There's, there's been so many comebacks. It's actually insane. It's one of the most uh, joyful things. No, no pun intended. No, no memes. It's pretty, it's pretty exciting that people turn and kind of, you know, get caught up on what's going on and just, you know, tell me stuff that they've been doing. It's, especially if it's been a while too. Um, so I appreciate you making that effort, man. No Monster Hunter World. Skia, wait, wait, why aren't you playing Monster Hunter World? I feel like you would like that. For some reason, I could see that fitting your, uh, your interests. So, you explain yourself. I, you better be at work right now. And planning to play it immediately when you return, because... Like... I feel like that's, that's something that you would like. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, edgy name, welcome back. Is that a spoon? Fighter, welcome. I don't even know what that is. I can't. I can't see it. It's too dark. Maybe you need to be on white mode for that. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Kind of looks like a spoon. So the world might be mended. Uh, you heard PSN imploded with the traffic from it. Oh yeah, I'm sure like that. They're gonna be very successful with uh, the sales. Uh, PS4 Master Race. PS4 Mustard Rice. Numbers, thank you for the four months in a row, man. Welcome back. Continue to enjoy your remotes and be in a hollow. Welcome to Bench Breaking Simulator. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, um, has anyone heard of a game called Skate on Steam that's like an indie game? It's called SK8, that's it. Um, wondering if anyone has any interest in it or has like been keeping an eye out for it or something. Uh, I said Karthus Blood Ring doesn't do much. Uh, it adds two frames, two iframes, and then it makes you take more damage. So the downside is you become uh, weaker, but you have two iframes on top of the existing 12 to make 14 in total. I think it's, oh, well, maybe, maybe it's 11. I know it used to be three frames, but I don't know if they took one frame away from the roll animation itself, or they took uh, one frame away from the bonus from the ring. I think it, it it's 12, and it used to add three to make 15, but now it adds two to make 14. Uh, Alfred Dito, thank you for the host, dude. How was your stream, man? Try the beta, you're not amused. It looks pretty good, but I feel like it's just a really particular type of experience. I feel like it would be really good for someone that's been a fan of it for a while. Because there's a lot of different releases of it. Like, there's a lot of different versions of it. Fight the same monster like 20 times just to get its armor. Games like Monster Hunter and Diablo exist that are very grindy. Yeah, the thing about items in those things, I don't I don't like grinding for items. I like the items to just be something you can like earn from like progression more so than like re like redundancy of killing that enemy over and over again. Or uh, like, you know, killing very very similar enemies just for like a material thing. It's like I'd rather I'd rather just like enjoy the gameplay for like killing the thing in general, like just being able to commit to taking it down, you know, not like 
the other stuff, but because the other stuff plays so heavily into it, that's also an issue, you know. It's, I don't want to have to think about, like, the gear and all that. Anyways, yeah, so I don't, I don't see any responses about the skate thing. Maybe I missed some of them. But I got offered uh, a, key, a uh, what's it called? Like, a code for it, so... It looks really fun. Like, I was actually laughing looking at it. It looks really funny. I think it would make a really good meme game that we could try one time. But it would only be for, like, a later half of the stream or something, so... Uh, I'll show you guys. I'll put a link in chat for it uh, tomorrow or something. Or maybe later today. I can find a video for it. It just looks like it's really frustrating and really uh, funny and just full of memes. So they, they basically told me they saw me playing this stuff and they thought it would work well because I like things that are frustrating and stuff. So I might try it. I don't know. Just wanted to know if you guys had heard of it. I think it's new. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Lag, yeah, there's some lag in this fight. Uh, I, I get that too. Like on my game, it also slows down quite a bit. I don't know why. Uh, changing the settings doesn't do anything. Is this fight for some reason with the CPU, with the current hardware? I, th I, th I think it's just the state of the game. Like I said, they make little tiny changes that ruins the game every once in a while in certain ways, where it was fine before, and then they just do something and it makes it weird. But this fight's been pretty much like frame droppy, depending on where I'm looking in the room, since like. I think one of the last updates or since I like changed my PC stuff up whereas before it was consistently just like slightly lower frames all the time uh, Mestio thank you for the five months in a row man welcome back you have one month until you are a human and you get a new badge thank you for being sub for that long that is super crazy oh man they grow up so fast <laughs> uh, Swish welcome back as well How's it going? Uh, are you going to be starting Last of Us? Because I remember you mentioned you were going to play that. I was thinking of getting the second one. Uh, you'll let me know when you're at ESA and you'll give me status updates. Nice, man. Let me know if you get to meet anybody cool. Because I know that... Uh, I think Elias goes there. So I, th I think it'd be pretty hype getting to chill with Elias. And uh, maybe even like... I think Nem said he might have gone to one of them one time. Or like he was planning to or something. I know he's like within reach of it. Uh, who else? I guess anyone that's just like a European speedrunner or like UK based or anything like that. Like anyone that's on that side of the world. But uh, if you see anyone cool, be like, yo, I said hi. <laughs> uh, particles. Uh, particle effects can be turned all the way down, Hunt, and it doesn't do anything, man. I tested all the settings. And uh, it doesn't change. 
It, it literally will drop frames on the lowest settings. Everything can be turned off. So, uh, like, I don't even necessarily need to have the game on the settings that it is now. I could have it maxed, and it would probably be pretty much the same, but... Um, not really for the case of, like, that fight, but for other things where there's a little bit of slowdown, like, changing areas. Just, just to kind of, like, mitigate any kind of frame loss, even in the smallest way, just in case it's a danger. I try to keep them kind of on, like, a medium level, but... Uh, we were pulling it off on max, and it wasn't really that much different. But I noticed there was some things happening on the speedruns, and I don't know if it was because live split was open, because I haven't had those happen now. Uh, it could have been running the older version or something, I don't know. But there was like some, some massive stutters in certain parts that were really annoying. The veil, the fire, they tend to bork the FPS. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, even with the effects turned down, man, like, it doesn't... Uh, make a difference plus my hardware is well beyond the uh, capabilities of the game so it's like it's it, sh it it's weird that it doesn't change anything but it's but it also proves I guess that it's not really hardware related it's just something that you know it, I've been told anyone with a good CPU and GPU still have that issue on that fight so um, I don't think anyone's lucky enough to to be out of that situation, unless your frames are just consistently low, then maybe you'd be fine. That was your best guess? That's what I was thinking too originally when I first uh, learned about that. Worked out, kick, kicked your ass today. I uh, installed Last of Us. You haven't decided if you're going to start it today. Well, if you do play it anytime soon, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, VCM Squad, what's up? It took you so long to beat this boss, then he beats you with arrows. You feel bad? <laughs> Stenberger, welcome back, dude. I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, I gotta be quick on this because I think this dude. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't start walking down until after I turn. So I guess we would have been safe. Why is the other dude running? Oh, he fired the arrow at the bottom and it like went through the wall and hit there because I could see like a little thing right there. Something, so, it looked like something hit the corner. Like, I saw the sparks. Ah, uh, Slothanot, welcome back, dude. How's it going? Update splits, LZ. I will update the splits, I promise you. Let me, let me get out of the dancer split quickly. Now we'll do that. Streamer, you need to update, streamer. Please remember to update, streamer. Hey, streamer, could you do the little doodad thing and just update it? Just click that button and then just skip a few of them them splits right there and this here, this here, Lothric Souls of Murica, please. I appreciate it. Uh, Golan, thank you for the good luck. Loon Bully, you heard Ferris Bow fixes frame drops. Okay. Okay. Now, this isn't good. We have no homeward bones on this part, so... I gotta go around the sketchy way. And I, I've done this before. I practiced it, but I haven't practiced it for a while, so this might be rip. I said Dark Sign 69,000, which is a little bit out of the question, so we're gonna have to be careful. Ah, uh, this one dude that is right here. And then we're basically trying to not get hit by him after. And then we're basically trying to get back to the bonfire again. And sit at it. There we go. Yay, we did it. Alright, that's why you practice things that rarely ever happen, just so you actually don't get fucked up. Because if I had never, if I hadn't gone through that way since my first playthrough, I wouldn't remember what happens there. So, I mean, that's the value of practicing shit that you just will probably never have to do. And, I mean, that's all my fault because I didn't have the bones, but... Definitely have gotten reset there before. That's why I was like, you know what, we need to know how to, like, go that way as well. Makes a suspiciously convincing redneck. Oh no. Well, 
let me tell you, I didn't even get into that NASCAR, though. Like, once I get that NASCAR, man, I, I crack out the beers and I get the NASCARs going. Once, once Jeff starts revving the engine on that Chevrolet on that track right there, I get so fired up. It's, it's quite, the, quite the situation we got going on. I get those jumbo hot dogs and I get them beers with the NASCAR. Oh, it's me going. Deacons of the Deep Cathedral. Remember when I was a little boy and daddy took me down there and I tried to tried to jump onto the racetrack over the gate and he was telling me, no, Timmy, don't jump over the guardrail. It's too dangerous. And I was like, but dad, I want to go fast. And he said, well, you can't go that fast. All right, I got to stop. Uh, when was that emote added, Rickers? Uh, we unlocked it uh, like a handful of days ago. Like a few days ago, maybe. How I tried Fury, great game for no hit run. Like you said, frustrating games are your thing, Wabbit. Uh, I kind of watched Fury, man. Like I've seen pretty much the entire game, so I uh, I would re be replaying something I've watched almost the entirety of. But I I was close to getting it at one point because I remember seeing this one boss that was really fun. Like, and I was like, you know what? Even if this is the only cool thing in this game, I want to try that. But uh, I think I just watched too much of it to to want to play it now. Why not level up right there, Eliobi? Uh, there's no there's no levels that would really matter for this part because I can't put in endurance yet. So while I could level, I'm not killing anything for the second part of that, and I have enough to kill everything for the first part. So we usually just go through all in one go. The reason that I had to make a trip back is because the homeward bones. I just didn't have any extra ones, which is really stupid, but a good reminder, right? Eh? Stop that accent. It's too unholy. <laughs> Officially NASCAR stream. Don't think anyone's done Fury No Hit. Someone was working on Fury No Hit when I was starting one of the really older No Hit runs. Then I don't remember who it was, but they told me about it. They said they were uh, at a PB of like 20 something hits, maybe. So there was someone working on it. I don't. I don't know if they actually got it though. Ah, uh, burrito. What did I miss? What light fire pit to deal with winter's cold even though we have electric heaters and half an hour ago your mother collected the ashes from yesterday's fire pit put them in a plastic bag house was full of smoke and everyone freaked out because no one knew why all turns out the ashes were still burning wood and it melted the plastic <laughs> that's actually pretty funny dude <laughs> that's hilarious that's actually really funny Oh, it's it's kind of dangerous too. But uh, they, how long were they burning for? How how many hours after the fire was was done? Ash. Like we're not talking about the next day, are we? Like I don't know if that is that even possible. It's like right after. Sounds like a George Bush stream. Oh man, I don't think that'd be a good thing. Uh, okay, we got to go right to Gray Rat. So we already have enough homeward bones. I'm gonna get like two more, just for the. Ash chance that you know maybe i can like not buy them later and save the effort guillermo welcome back dude you know what's weird man honestly i don't know if it was that i read chat and i thought i saw your name in it earlier but it's almost like i expected that you would be here like soon soon after i had that weird kind of realization that you know I thought I had seen you in chat, and maybe it was like my mind playing tricks on me. You just you showed up, dude. Came in clutch. Steve, what's up? Them Friday feels. What does a Friday even feel like? Like what is what is your what is everybody's way of of describing a like Friday itself? And not particularly this day, but just any Friday on the calendar. Like what what is your Friday feel? How does how does that work? Because, I don't know. The only time I ever got the Friday feel was, like, in school. Or if I had a schedule at any of my jobs that was Monday to Friday instead of, like, two days off or a day off, like, randomly. Because, uh, I mean, obviously with, like, sh shittier jobs you can't pick. But, like, uh, yeah, I don't think I've had a Friday feel since, like, it was either Monday to Friday's type thing or anything around that, that kind of schedule. Otherwise, it's whenever it's just, like, you know... Everything's the same otherwise, or 
whenever you, you have a break, it's maybe different. Uh, Deck, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Sounds scary, to be honest. What, the fact that I, th I had a feeling you were going to be here? Well, I thought, okay, I read something earlier, and I thought it was from you, but it wasn't. And then it, and then you just popped up, like, I don't know, 15 minutes later, so. Coincidence? I think not. Dun, dun, dun. Nah, it definitely was a coincidence. That's not even close to that surprising. It's very, very plausible. A Friday is a day you know it's becoming the weekend, and that Monday is two days away, so you feel bad and good on that day. Okay. And you think that's like a generalization of it? Like, that's just... The, the majority of people would be like that. Freedom till Monday. Uh, Sour Crowd, welcome back. What's up, dude? Also, follow Deck if you guys don't. He just got partnered and he needs the follows because he's desperate. And uh, one follow for Deck a day keeps uh, keeps my RNG at bay. So, you're going to help the RNG of my runs and you're going to help Deck. And it's totally not a, a paid sponsorship for for follow farming and stuff. So, just uh, give him... No, he's actually a really good streamer. He's really good at soul speed runs. He's the best player of souls I've seen that plays with the keyboard and mouse as well. And to some people that don't do that, you might just find that impressive as it is. But he's, he's, he's really good. <laughs> what the hell, man? This guy's like trying to sneak away. Uh, did you try to get an early SOTC copy? No, I haven't actually. I should do that, man. I should actually get on that right now. I when I when I when I inquire about games and people don't come to me, I usually do it like two weeks before, and that's usually not good enough. Like for some cases, I've I've been accepted. Like for Evil Within Two, I found my my press copy a month after I'd already beaten the game because I just it was sent to a different email and it was sent like last minute. And I don't know how they sent that to, it to that email. It must have been something on, like, the Google uh, mail that you use for, like, Google Documents or whatever. But I sent them another email, and they didn't send it to that one. So I'd had a code of Evil Within 2, like, for a long time and didn't even know. And there's other cases where you're just too late and you're not able to get in on it. So um, it definitely is good to inquire ahead of time unless, like, you're already approached it. Like, you know, and you don't have to. But yeah, I don't know. I'm fine with, with buying Shadow of the Colossus. It's not a big deal. But if they gave me it, that'd be pretty cool. Have you played The Surge? I haven't, no. I have not played it. I've seen it, though. I know Le Lethal right now, he's doing... Uh, or he just completed base level. So, like, SL1, pretty much. And then he also did no rolling on top of that. And now he's doing that on Neo as well. And it's scary. Brightens me. Has AI become too advanced? Ask, uh, ask Elon Musk, man. That's that's all we gotta, all we gotta know. You know, he'll tell us. He'll probably say no, man. Like everyone should have their own rocket ship, and a Tesla, and a and a toaster that that calls you cute. When you're having a bad day. Uh, where's the barrel guy today? He's in the regular spot. I don't I don't even know how he moved into the doorway. It just there's so many things in this game that I wish you could figure out, but like you'd need to ha somehow be able to see places that you're not existing in, like while you're elsewhere. Be cool to like have some sort of like way to like spy on the rest of the game when you when when you're not actually in those parts. Just just to see how things end up the way they do cuz there's there's unexplained things sometimes. And that guy is definitely the most X-Files esque thing that I've seen in that part. And same with the firebomb too. It was so creepy that it worked just right away and I didn't even like aim it properly. That was too good to be true. Uh, did you like Evil Within 2? You hated the first one so you didn't bother. Evil Within 2 is one of the best horror games in my opinion. Uh, especially for like the psychological aspects. It really, it, it's really good. Very, very good. It takes a while to get started at the beginning because uh, it, it has to acquaint you with like what like the place that you're in and why it works the way it does. So, um, it does. It, it makes it really easy to understand the story. That's that's what I liked, and it 
it, it starts off very slow, but then when it gets going, it's like you honestly just can't stop. Like you have to figure out what's what's going to happen next, and then you're always surprised. And there's even some really good throwbacks to the first one too. So, I mean, if you didn't play the first one, you wouldn't lose out on it. But if you did, you'd like there'd be an extra little reward. There's a couple things that you would get even more value out of if you played the first. So, I thought it was very good. Uh, we're definitely going to play it again on the stream someday, but maybe not till like around Halloween again. I was gonna speedrun it, but then when I realized you needed the keyboard for it and like the glitches required like 300 frames per second, I was like, I don't even know if I can like reach that frame rate and I don't wanna like play a game where I have to change the resolution and like force it to go overdrive on the frames just to like do skips and it's all keyboard based and all that, you know? So I kinda asked around with people that were doing them and they just said like, there's a bunch of stuff you gotta do for it that I wasn't really into, so decided to not speed run it but i was really i was really wanting to it kind of sucks but that's sometimes the case with certain games just things that you don't really want to have to do in them so right now we have plus nine right and i think we got leveled up too so let's uh, i bought 99 of the feather arrows though all right that's all right we're gonna we're gonna just talk to gray rat really quickly Goodbye. Shadow of the Colossus Remaster, Chevron. That's going to be cool, man. Uh, let's see. Wait. Why does my cursor sometimes disappear? That's so weird. You'll play some Dead by Daylight right now. Be right back, Olaf. That's a pretty good game, too. I really like that game, and that's another one that I wish I could have kept playing, but just the keyboard aspect was an inevitable like corner that I'd reach, and it's like, do you want to take the path of always sati being satisfied with not being competitive on it like not being able to actually be better than certain people even though you might be better just because of the input method or do you want to like learn all over again on a keyboard it's like ugh. so keyboard kind of ruined that one but it was really really fun though it was such a fun game all right uh let's see got uh sage all right can't beat silent hill 2 Stop, no way you liked it that much. I really liked the first one though, Swish. Like people I know why people didn't like the first one, I can understand, but I really liked the first one, so um I like the first one so much that I played it like way after it came out and like streamed it and everything and was was still hyped on it. Um like I just had this feeling because I had seen it and I was like, you know, this just looks so good, I gotta do it. And I was really satisfied with that one too, but uh, I can say the first one starts off better than the second one, but the second one just ends up becoming way cooler. Um, and like it changes so many directions that you just you can't really predict what's gonna happen. It's really nice. A non-space things are going pretty good. How are you, dude? Trying some new sage strats that uh, worked out pretty well yesterday. Wondering why I thought you'd be interested in Monster Hunter World? I don't know. I guess, like... Uh, I guess, like, I thought you would enjoy the item grind because, like, you were into Guild Wars and stuff and you like Souls and there's some Souls people that like Monster Hunter and... I don't know. I, f I felt like you'd be the type of person to be okay with that. It looks so repetitive. Yeah, that's... Well, it's not even the re the repetition, but the type of repetition. It, it's like, do you want to have repetition for your gear, or do you want to have repetition for other stuff? Because... Yeah. Forgot to update the splits, Arno. Yeah, man, I gotta do that. I'm sorry. Alright. We'll just skip Sage right now. Uh, you were ranting on how you're waiting for SOTC to come out in two weeks, and as some people on YouTube have already finished it. Oh, yeah, there's people that probably already have it, but... If you have it that early, um, I think that would be like uh, a review copy that's given to someone that might be like very close with the studio or like close with uh, affil like people affiliated with the studio. Um, a lot of PR companies or anything like that, they, they would give you, that represent you and give you like games early. They probably wouldn't be able to even get that game that early themselves so like i think they'd probably get it directly from a different source if it was two weeks ahead or two weeks before you know it's 
That seems like a different kind of case scenario. Like, I'm sure that there's no PR company right now that's like a, a common one that people would use that actually has access to it yet. Okay, come on. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Uh, the Ron with the Truth Bomb. You know what's better than keyboards? Knowledge. <laughs> keyboards are cool. Oh, I can I can totally see the advantage. I just I never played PC games when I was little, so. And the, any of the ones that I had done, they're really simple, so you, re you didn't really need to know how to use a keyboard. Uh, Unicorn Bunny Coffee, welcome back. Thank you for the good luck. Uh, the grind is less evident on Guild Wars, and the PvP was a lot of fun. I'm not even trying to, like, compare those games, though, because I know they're different, but just, like, anyone that would play an MMO for items, I feel like you would be tolerant to the the system of something like Monster Hunter, because, like, it probably isn't as bad as some MMOs for the item grinds. And that's that's personally why I can't play MMOs, because they're, they're very focused on the, the level grinding and the item grinding, and like there's some that have really cool looking PVP, but to get to that point, you need to put in so much time. And it's like, like for souls with PVP, you literally just have to beat the game and just like, you know, you might spend a little bit, but you could make a PVP character in a day, you know, it's not like it would take like a month or something. I uh, can't stand grinding games at all, especially MMOs. Yeah, there's some that are really cool and it's, it sucks that like, I just can't get into them for reasons like that like uh, I tried a little bit of blade and soul like probably like a couple years ago or maybe like whenever it was a little bit newer and uh, I could only play it for like a day because I was like I instantly started feeling the grindy aspects but there's other stuff that was really cool and the PvP looked nice it just oh wait before we even get into shenanigans with this guy I think we're screwed unless this guy doesn't have throwing knives let's see does cool that was close that was very close oh so we didn't have enough skulls most dark souls players can make a pvp build in the day yeah yeah man and there's also the low level pvp too one thing that I saw that was really strange, there was like this, uh, this thing on main page one day, and it was like a tournament for something, and then they switched over to like, uh, it was like a competitive, uh, Warcraft PvP or World of Warcraft PvP, and I was wondering like, how is that even possible? Like, how do they make a balance? How is, how is it, uh, competitive or whatever? Because I'd never heard of it before, it was really weird. Okay, so now we could skip the scum on that guy, or we could just use it again and have two for deacons. I'm probably gonna have to settle with that. I can level though, can level a little bit more. Mid-range PvP is the best PvP. I like the low-level PvP, it was, it was really fun. Like the, I guess, I don't know, maybe it would be counted as mid-range, but uh, like around level 50, anything from like 35 to 50. Wow, PvP is all about crowd control. Uh, you hate PvP in any game. Couch Shockey, what's up? Wow, PvP is balanced per season. Players at max level in the best PvP gear. So, like, do those people that, like, compete for it have to spend their own time getting ready for it? Or, like, are they just... Is there a way to just instantly, like, be able to PvP on it without having to do all that stuff? Because I'm wondering, like... It seems weird because every, everything else is just giving you the tools to compete with it. You don't, like, have to, like, make a character or anything on anything else you just play it that's it 
I feel like the format of it's very like weird for a, an esports kind of thing. Honestly, sometimes, dude, I have no idea how that dog fucking get, gets over here. I honestly don't. While PvP, you have to grind your gear. Wow. So anybody that's that's participated in any of those things, they've had to spend their own time trying to get ready for it. Like, not practicing PvP, but literally just being able to have a character that, that applies to it. Monty, you're watching me on the bus ride home. How long is your bus ride typically? Increases damage and such by 1% for 10. Locked to level 10 or something, an hour of playing. Okay. WVW, so what's that stand for? Gear doesn't matter um, if you're at the top level. Okay. Scary dog, yeah. I don't know how that dog somehow saw me. It must have been like the amount of uh, time I spent after the bomb not doing the tiptoes or something. But uh, that's kind of weird because I could do the exact same thing next time and it might not even be the case that the dog even has interest. So it's weird. Usually, usually that one's not in range to even know you're there no matter what you do. But I can try to be a bit more careful. Zach, what's up, dude? Almost got memed right there too, that's funny. Good thing my stamina was not enough to like just rush that part or I probably would have gotten the stun there. Been up for 36 plus hours, 17, 30. There's no way you've been up that long, man. Please go to sleep, like don't be up for this. If you're gonna be up for that long, it has to be, I, I would prefer it to be for another reason or just not at all, because that's way too long to be awake, man. Like, it's, I, I hope that's not a normal thing for you. Uh, Kong, what's up, dude? Wide Cloud, welcome back. It's a tournament realm. If you place the tournament throughout the season, uh, you get invited to BlizzCon, the biggest tournament. Oh, that's what BlizzCon is. Okay. I've heard of that. I know, I, I think... Uh, who went to BlizzCon? There's a streamer that like I've watched for a while that went to BlizzCon. I forget who it was, but like, they went and said it was really cool. Um, yeah, I've like I've heard a lot about it, but I just I didn't know that uh, there was like tournaments and stuff there. Because Blizzard doesn't usually make like competitive stuff; it just they just make like Diablo and WoW and I guess oh like well maybe they do have the Dota right? Maybe they I guess Dota counts. I didn't I keep thinking that Dota's not associated with that. So never mind. I'll take that back right now before you uh you 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 go off on me or something or someone does. Uh shed, what's up? Yeah, do oh Dota's Valve. Okay, my bad. Hearthstone's Bl Hearthstone's the Blizzard one. My bad. Sorry. They're they all are like kind of the same to me in a way. I know I know they're different, but sometimes they just seem the same. Starcraft is competitive. Starcraft isn't Blizzard, is it? And Overwatch, okay. And okay, well, yeah, they've done a lot of stuff. Then never mind. Wow, I need to I need to brush up on my Blizzard. 
Hots, Overwatch, and Hearthstone, Samson. Hey, at least we pulled some lurkers with that. Maybe I should just say something stupid like that more often. There we go. What's going on, Samson? Hitting crit, what's up? Uh... <laughs> So Dota, yeah, Dota's Valve, uh, that's, that's good to remember. Uh, I know. Hearthstone, StarCraft 2, WoW PvP, and now they have the competitions too. They have PvE competitions. How does that work? That's really interesting to me that they could do that. Hunt, what's up? Uh, lurking is nice. Hey, lurking's completely fine with me. I appreciate everybody that's lurking. Continue to even. But it's just funny that once in a while, all I have to do is just say something really stupid and then every lurker's like, or not every lurker, but there, there's some some people just pulled from their uh, the shadows. They're just like, hey, you're wrong. Okay, now I'm going to go back to, to lurking. But you're wrong, though. I love it. Uh, Houskies, what's up? Overwatch equals overrated. I can I can understand why people like it. It seems very uh, balanced and well made. I don't know. I'm not an expert with it, but it, it seems like it. I've, I don't I haven't heard a lot of complaints from people playing Overwatch like I do from other stuff. Like it doesn't seem like there's anyone ever saying that I know that plays Overwatch. They're they're, they're never like oh like this character needs to be like you know, removed, or like, this weapon sucks, or like, this person just exploited this, like, it seems like everything is fair, like, no matter what, and you just have to play well. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of complaints, but I just, I haven't heard nearly as many as other games. Um, which is a really good thing. Hanzo is ready. Hanzo gets brought up the most, I, I'm assuming he's like a really good person to play or something. Or easy to play or whatever. Or he's strong. I don't know. Hanzo must be removed. Yeah, from someone that's an expert at Overwatch or plays it frequently, like, what would you say is the state of the game? Is there anything that needs to be fixed? Okay, so now that I've wasted more time here, now I won't get memed. Here we go. I was way too fast on that part yesterday. I need to be slower. So I can't I can't sprint pick up the item that's sprint. I have to like jog to the item once I get to a certain point, pick it up, jog for a second, wait for him to rotate, then run. Your run got meme by Frida so hard today. Dude, I actually didn't say anything in chat, but right before um like, I left for a bit, and, like, I remember I saw you at almost the end, and I was like, shit, dude. That's a really good run. Like, I wonder... I think you were coming up on half light. Uh, you'll, you'll get it soon. You'll definitely get it really soon. Like, I'm, I'm impressed, though. Sorcery only, no hits, all bosses plus DLC. If you guys want to see something like that... Or, sorry, this one was Pyromancy this time. But uh, Couch Jockey's trying to do both Pyromancy and Sorcery No Hit with all the content at the moment. I think he's done uh, Pyromancy with all bosses in the main game and any percent. And I think he might have done Sorcery any percent at least. So uh, if you like that kind of stuff, you want to see some unique No Hit runs. That's that's really something you got to check out. It's crazy. It's very different than uh, this or just any of the regular ones. Like, your, your Deacon setup honestly looks so painful. Like, it makes me appreciate Deacons more on this run. I love how we get, like, just the best RNG on this, and then, like, then I get afraid for the next part. Because I'm just like, oh, if it's going to be good RNG now, then the second part's going to be ruined. Like, there's no way I can get just a consistently fast fight.
Anzo skill one shot, one kill. Is that what it does? Edgar Allen Crow, what's up, dude? Red Tear Stone Ring increases your damage by 20%. Uh, Penguin, welcome back. What's going on, dude? I'm going to stop reading chat in a moment. I just want to make sure I, I've caught up on everything. Uh, Diago, what's up? Robot, welcome back. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe looking if I'm just like on the move right here, but I don't worry. I'm not going to reach out after this. It's perfect. That was so scary with two skulls. And it wasn't even like I was making that big of mistakes. It was like the heal kind of caught me off guard there. They healed them really early right there. It's not good. Oh, well, at least we're out of there. <laughs> Praying for memes early. <laughs> How about we just pray for no memes? That would be cool. Streamer, you missed the message. Natco, what's up? I'm going to end up making in makeup for a week. I can't wait to see that, dude. He has to go shiny bald if he does the makeup. Like, I'm my... Uh, dude, I'm telling you, it would, it would be a hit. Like, he, it would be super funny. People would love it. And it would be, like, the world's first no-hit run done with makeup on. Unless someone else wore makeup when they did theirs and didn't tell anybody, but... I guess you'd never know. But I would assume it's the world's first no-hit run completed with makeup. Uh, is it stressful trying to keep up, Creo? No. No, man. This is what I do. <laughs> um, it's just, I mean, like, if you were if, if you were a streamer and instantly you just had a channel that was established, yeah, you would, you would not be able to do it. Like, it would be hard. You'd have to adjust, but I've, like, kind of gradually uh, done this over time, so it's not uh, a problem now. If you just had, like, you know, a channel out of nowhere, like, which just wouldn't happen, obviously. Maybe it would be hard. Or maybe, okay, let's just say, in, for an example, maybe if you're, like, a YouTuber and then you just made your stream, but you're, like, established on YouTube and instantly just had your YouTube viewers, that could make it pretty difficult. That could be uh, a problem if you had never done a stream before. I've seen some YouTubers try to live stream on YouTube and have a hard time before. And with, like, not even that many people, but I guess it also just depends on what you're doing, too. Or who you are. Oh, nice miss. I love it. Having a completely consistent deity pot? I hope so. I hope so. You always know what to say. You always come in with, like claims of of things and it seems to fit the theme how do you do this i feel like you're observing the stream a little bit and then you're saying these things there's no way you're just coming at, like straight off the cuff with this uh is pontiff a bitch with the bow zico uh pontiff is annoying yeah not one of my favorite fights on this run i would rather parry pontiff four times in one fight and risk not getting a parry than do it the way that we're doing it now but uh, the way we do it now is just the best way you can do it, so it's fine. It's not It's not like it's that bad of a fight. It's just really, really annoying. Because what happens is you just have to wait for him to keep spawning the, uh, the Spectral Dude, because there's not really any time you can hit him other than, like, a very, very... Um, in a very particular situation, you can, but he just, he'll just dodge all your arrows uh, if he's not doing something else. How do you level for bow only, Jester? We got, uh, let's see... 27 strength and 31 dex. Everything else is untouched, I'm pretty sure. 
favorite fight for Bo only Orge on this run? Hmm. I don't know. It's a good question, man. Uh. I, I think Slayer has been the most rewarding because uh, Slayer, typically, the problem with it would be that you you wouldn't really know how to deal with the fight when it extends itself, like, past the point of Phase 2 for a long time. So I think I've learned how to, like, deal with Phase 2 really, really consistently over any stretch of time, which is a really valuable thing. Um, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, with Dragon Slayer Armor, I don't know if it's my favorite fight to do now, but I think that what I've improved on on it is the most valuable out of a lot of stuff in this run. Because now I could do any uh, run with low damage, and I don't feel uh, I don't feel as uh, low in the confidence of, of winning without getting hit. Especially on like the longer fights. Because, I mean, it's one thing to kill him fast, but if you kill him very slow, that's where the, the difficulty is. So... Uh, princes, princes are pretty fun on this run. I like, I like the idea of like the first phase and stuff like that. Skull monkey, what's up? How are you doing, dude? Aldrich is pretty fun on this run too. I don't know. I just it's hard to like call certain fights fun, I guess, because there's aspects that are fun, but then some of them are just like I don't know. There, there's like an equal amount of good and bad. The idea of it overall, like, the the final product is what's worth it, but, like, in the moment, like, some of the fights are kind of terrible. What part am I stuck on, Mad Manity? Me? Uh, wait, what do you mean? Uh, really interested in how you're going to take down Yorm. Hope you get that far. Me too, man. That'd be really cool. That We would already be doing better than any of the runs yesterday if we could reach that point. So I'd be happy to see that. Get past it soon, Zico. I I hope so, man. Like I'm ready for it. Clam, it's going pretty good. How are you? Having fun in a Souls game, yeah. Like what what is it? What is it? Souls game, anyways. Like we're like fucking entrapment. We're like prison. <laughs> Cali dog, what's up? Hardest boss in this run and the most annoying. Uh, most annoying is probably like Vort or uh. Or Dancer, maybe. Nah, Cinder. Cinder's the most annoying on this. Cinder heals sometimes. That's the worst. Uh, so, probably probably Cinder is the most annoying. Um, artist would be Cinder or Dragon Slayer Armor. Because Cinder could give you a fight that's way easier than even, like, you know, uh, an average Slayer fight. It just really depends on what the RNG is like. Um, but... Then again, I've, I, it's been very, very infrequent uh, when it comes to, like, how many bad Slayer fights I get, like, with really bad RNG. There's, there's, there's one case in the beginning where I had, like, the worst RNG where it's, like, there's a chance that you get hit and there's nowhere you can be that will not result in a hit. But um, for that to happen, it's also such a slim chance because it doesn't have to do with, like, the attacks. It just has to do with, like, two of the same attack happening at the exact same time, and the likelihood of that is very... Uh, very slim it's like the when when i was playing ds1 i saw one of those dudes through the spears like staggered by half a second like at that exact like timing for each like that probably you you would you maybe never see that again it was just so particular that it's possible that it was you know just a one-off it wasn't something common because you'd see it more often then um but if both pilgrim butterflies do the the big explosion at the exact same time it might be unavoidable depending on the state of the bridge itself and how many uh parts of it are still intact and uh all that because sometimes if the bridge is broken they though even if it's shooting from the right side it can cross over to the the far left side so like it doesn't matter what side you're on uh, and if both of them come from either side, I can't stand, like, on one side of the statue, then move around unless there's, like, a offset with the timing. But if they're if they're synchronized somehow, which has happened before a few times overall, like, out of my entirety of playing this that I can remember, it's, like, they will, uh, 
They'll one one will hit something, and then the other one will probably get you. But it's not common though. All right, Grey Rat's all sad and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna just skip on him for now. Uh, I think we have enough. Oh, I was using st uh, feather arrows for Deacons too. That's weird. Okay. Storm was up until the PB, one of the more assured and timely battles. Then the streamer, in all his hubris, failed to react predictably, and the result is before you today. This hot mess of a run, lovingly crafted from garbage. Presented to us at Nassim until either streamer croaks or we wiss. Presented to us at Nad Adnasium? What is Adnasium? Until either streamer croaks or we wise up and demand he perform at level befitting of this champion. Thank you, Subaru, for that. What is Adnasium, though? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> SoCal, what's up? Welcome back, dude. Can you make skill points uh, like a PM to the one that's asking? I can do that, yes. I can do that. And we probably should do that by now. So, Colpster had a suggestion for it a while ago, and I don't remember exactly, like, what the way was to set it up, but I will, uh, ask him very nicely if he can explain it to me again. Or I'll look into just how you do it, because when it comes to the bot, it's kind of weird. There's not really, like, a... Like, the instructions for the bot don't necessarily say this is how you do everything you ever want to do. It's just like how to make certain types of code that turns into, like, you know, targeting certain, like, values or whatever. And it's like, um, if it's something beyond just a setting or, like, a thing that's, like, a feature in the bot, then it becomes a little bit more complicated. So, uh, if, if the skill points showed up in a message, like a whisper message, then it would, it would actually help chat. Uh, so Rookers, basically, that means that people would be able to still see the, their points but it wouldn't show to everyone else uh so it would keep chat like a little bit cleaner but it's not the biggest deal i think for raffles maybe it would it would work but no, i can definitely i can figure that out that'd be a good idea all right we're gonna go for three of these and then we have the 10 skulls we have 92 standard arrows everything's leveled chlorinthy ring is on let's do it you want one bit to equal 1,000 skill points. <laughs> oh boy. What kind of tree could you fit in your hand? A palm tree. It's a pretty good one. Adna ad nauseum, basically over and over till you puke. Okay. I see. So an unending cycle of, of memes, basically. To the point of nazo, is that actually a word? Like, is that like to say, is that to be nauseated? Like, but just in general, like nazo, or is that a is that a spelling mistake? Uh, you're in a pickle if you should continue NG3 or play Fortnite. Fortnite looks pretty fun, man. I can understand why people get into Fortnite. Actually. It's, I feel like it's that easiest thing to understand that's, like, popular right now. Because PUBG was, like, kind of easy to understand, but this one's, like, definitely an even easier version to understand than that. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate on you for playing Fortnite, man. Alright. So my only issue is when the Pontiff Knight's this close, he just keeps sprinting, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him to back off. Because if I back up to the fog gate and touch it, he could hit me even later on in the fight, not just right now. Because I've had him hit me like after the fights had started for like 30 seconds or so. Um put this on. And I guess we're ready. Twenty seven damage, no way.
if you can get really good at headshots on this, like you can really benefit. It's pretty crazy how important they can be. Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's a little bit funny. Okay, don't. Mm, he split pretty close. It's not good. Attack, attack, attack. Thank you.
That fight is so bad. So bad. So bad, so bad. Running low on arrows, Pride? Oh, we have a lot, man. Don't worry. Uh, Angry Gamer, welcome back. What's up, dude? Why does he not shoot at him and only the shadow? Because uh, if you shoot at Pontiff, he dodges the arrows. So there's no point. Only in phase one. He's not. He doesn't input read in phase one for your arrows. And uh, to get the uh, the shadow to die is basically to make him respawn the shadow again, so you get the shots. Because otherwise, there's no other way to really rely on anything else. Because he'll just dodge your attacks. And then if you wait on that, one of the other opportunities, um, you'll find they're pretty hard to punish. Especially being close range. Don't really want that. You arm with a bow, Mackie? That's what we're going to try to do, man. It's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Cosmic, thank you for the GG's, by the way. And welcome back, dude. Surgun, what's up? Uh, walking Failure, what's up, man? No skull strats, interesting. Uh, no, I've never used skulls on that. I think uh, Dopamine was the person to make that, or Hobber maybe. Or maybe Dopamine got it from Hobber for Oz or something. I've, I've, you never really need to use skulls there. Um, at least I don't waste them there. Poop in a hoop, what's up? How's it going? Don't run into fire this time. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> the thing is, that attack can happen, and, like, there won't be fire in that spot that was there before if he's not near that wall. Like, he can do it anywhere else, and you would be fine. That's why I made the mistake in the first place. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Most annoying boss, if you ask me, how hard is he going to be for this run? Uh, not as hard as Pontiff, in my opinion. But, uh... I d definitely harder than a regular Aldrich fight. Like, it takes a bit longer. Uh, I don't even think we're going to have the large arrows for him in time. Because we talked to Grey Rat, but we didn't send him to Pillage yet. So, that's a problem. We could do Yorm first, but... I don't know if I want to do that. That'd be the only way to guarantee getting heavy arrows for Aldrich. Hope RNG gods favor you today. Me too, Leon. I agree. Nephi, yeah, he changed his name back to normal finally. You've returned to us. The original. Uh, Mick Hall, what's up, dude? Or Michael, my bad. Uh, why didn't they see me? Uh, they can see you. They, you're, you're just walking uh, outside of their line of sight, right? They have, they kind of have a tunnel vision or like a certain point of view that they can see. Um, but if they don't hear any sound, then they're not going to turn towards you. As you could see, the one at the very end turned once he could hear the sound, so... Uh, you just have to make sure you're not in their line of sight and that you're not making sound. So just walk a very particular route and you're fine. Update splits? I will update the splits, I promise you. Let me let me at least go back to Firelink so we can see what's going on there. Cause I need I need the, the large arrows still. It's very important in my opinion. Red Thirst, what's up? Thank you for the good luck. For some reason, Aldrich is kinda like I don't know. He's sketchy on this run, even though it shouldn't be sketchy, but it's cause there's so many situations you can have where if you don't think of the best thing to do really fast, uh can easily just be be done, right? That's only because you prolong the fight. So yeah, I sent him the pillage right there, but we still don't have the uh, arrows we need. So we're going standard on this fight. Which is fine, but it's just a little bit sketchier. Goodbye. So in that case, we'll try to see if we can uh, 
Get some good levels, maybe. Uh, which boss is the hardest one for this run, Hellriker? It's a tie between Cinder and Dragon Slayer Armor. Cinder can be worse if you have the worst Cinder fight that you could probably imagine, but on average, they're probably both around the same for me. Okay, 36 is probably the best to, to do with the stats. Need to make a Grey Wrath split? I should. I should, you're right. Maybe I'll add one. The thing is, we've had like a weird way of doing Grey Rat. Sometimes I'll do all the stuff for him like uh, super, super late. Sometimes I'll do it like normally like now, and then other times I'll be early on it where I get the arrows like before Pontiff. But I technically can't use large arrows for Pontiff. What I should have done though is right after, uh, right after uh, Sage or Deacon's gone to him. Like in between the wall near Bonfire and, and Deacon's would be a good time to do that. So for Yorm, you just use Stormbreaker, and what's good? Uh, Kuna Matata, welcome back. No, there's there's no Storm Ruler on this run. Stormbreaker sounds pretty fucking cool, man. I think that's even better than Storm Ruler. Stormbreaker. It is him. He is using the plus ten crystal infused Stormbreaker. Oh my, what a what a fine weapon indeed. The Stormbreaker shall break all the storms. And not break all the sunshine, because it's only for storms, but yeah. Is this the Olaf? Uh, this is still the Olaf, man. Still the Olaf. A little bit slow, but getting there. It's walking into the poison mist from Soul of Cinder count as a hit. If it doesn't build up fully, no, it has to build up for you to actually be poisoned and damaged, so... Uh, any bar building up before it's fully uh, at the top is just a warning. It's showing you that you're about to have a status effect happen. So, uh, because it wouldn't stun you or do damage before it actually activates, then there'd be no way to say that's a hit. Although, I find with Cinder, the way the poison works, uh, you don't have to be near it for too long. It builds up very fast. So if you touch it even just a little bit and you see that bar, you better be like a, a foot away from escaping the range or you're you're probably going to get poisoned even if it doesn't seem like it. It's very, very easy to, uh, to have it build up in like a snap of a finger. Just being around the outside of it and stuff. It also, I've even gotten poisoned by him once the cloud has been gone. Like as it's, as it's fading and then it's like completely gone, it built up, built up the bar. So that's also a thing. Uh, nice cream. Welcome back, dude. Need a better attack right now. I've been away for one hour twenty minutes and you still haven't beaten the run yet. Scrub.
That's really unfortunate. Damn, dude. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> String thanks, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, that fight's extremely annoying. This is a really annoying run right now. I'm not really liking this one. <laughs> it's just so annoying, man. So many reasons. I mean, like, I could have killed him, but then I would have felt like I was making mistakes and overstepping on, like, the rules that I have, so... I would never want to, like, try to go aggressive on that and then die and then feel like an idiot, so I, I did what was right, but it just is so annoying to do that, and I hate it. Uh, Toast, what's up? Friend had a theory that you are in the low gang, is that true? In the low gang, what is the low gang? Uh, can you explain why you teleported? Because it wasn't worth it. Once he starts doing arrows, you have a very low chance of surviving. It's based off of just uh, getting lucky at that point. Uh, Nestus, what's up? Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Aren't you as great till right at the end? Let strength yeah, be granted, I don't know. so the world might be mended. Just, I just, I don't know. I just, so it's frustrating that uh, I mean, I, I know I could have killed him, I just it wouldn't have been worth it. Already, Not the right decision. Uh, Angry gamer, thank you for the five months in a row. Welcome back. Continue to enjoy your emotes and being a uh, hollow apparently for the next month until you are a human. GG man. How have you been? Dark Icarus, what's up? Logan Pollers. Playing the fool about the low gang. What? Uh, didn't say hi, you're busy memeing. Good luck with the run toast. Oh, I that's completely fine, man. Don't worry. Uh, usually it's the other way around. Okay, we gotta get back in there again. Momentum. See, that's, that's okay. That's an okay attack, but not the direction. Okay, this is good. Completely not worth it. The whiff was not worth it. That, that recovery is longer, but, like, his idol is, is shorter, though. Like, there's ones that have, like, quick recovery, but the idle is, like, super slow if you're not right in front of them. So I think I need the U-shape attack. That's that's the one that's the, the longest idle. So you guarantee you get three shots and possibly a fourth if you're, like, just really, really good with stamina. Nicholas, what's up, dude? Already a better fight. Yeah, the thing with Aldrich on this run, it kind of sucks. You just put yourself in a bad position if you're not very picky about it. So you're probably going to see a lot of Aldrich on any of these. Unless he just gives me, like, the best possible fight. And the best possible fight on this isn't just good RNG. It's, like, other stuff, too. So, depends on how many shots are landed and what type of shots and positions and stuff like that, too. Uh, why don't you use the weapon art? The weapon art decreases the damage a lot. What run should everyone do at least once? Right now you're doing SL1. I don't know, that's a good question, man. I would say SL1 would be cool to uh, do, but I don't. I know it's not for everybody. I think item randomizer is something everyone should try once. That's really fun. Uh, at least it was fun on DS1. That was really good. Is this practice, Ithamar? This is a uh, real run, man. I mean, I'm getting practice from it, but it's definitely not uh, the intention of, of practicing. 
Almost the same with the sorcery strats, except for with sorcery, you deal 400 damage per shot, but the shots are slower. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was noticing, like, I, there was some similarities with what we're doing on Deacons, uh, on our runs, but, like, yours is just, it's more damage, but, like, slower, though. So it'd be like using an even slower bow with just a really big hitbox on the arrow. When we do world's first zero meme run, oh, that, that'd be pretty hard to do, man. Not too sure about that. That's a, that's a request that I don't know if I can fulfill. Also, uh, by the way, Tony, what's up, man? I don't think I said hi yet. How dare I? The recovery on the slam might be okay too. This one, this one, this one. Nice. I'm too close, I think. That might be fine. That's good. That's perfect. Get out of there. Get out of that place. Update the split, Fox. I just did, dude. What are you You didn't even give me a chance. I literally just got through it. Come on. That's a little bit crazy. How'd that miss? I don't know. That's another thing, too. You gotta account for misses on this stuff. There's some fights in this run where if you miss, you're, you're looking for trouble. Okay, so... 99 of these. There we go. Goodbye. Waylaid pack of corgis. Welcome back. Should you do the world's first zero hit dung pie only? I don't think you can do that though. You'd have to like cheat the dung pies in the game, right? You started blood level four, Skull Monkey. How are you enjoying it so far? Have you done like SL1 in the other games? Like, do you have a comparison of both? Okay, so we're gonna try to go for. Uh, 39 decks on Yorm, I think, and then we're gonna just get the rest of the stuff, uh, or the rest of the souls will go towards the Dark Arrows. I only need 40, though, so we're, we're fine. Should be good. Fox, you gotta get some sleep though. Good night. That's a good. That's a good call. Um, I I can appreciate the fact that you recognize that you need sleep and you're going to bed. That's good shit, Fox. Have a good sleep, man. I will see you next time. Don't worry, you're not gonna miss anything too crazy. I will uh, I'll make sure to fill you in on anything if there is uh, crazy stuff. We are drastically uh, behind on time now for, for Alva because of that, that shenanigans. So we gotta be fast. I 
I didn't. Did I ask this or did I not ask this? For this. I think I screwed it up. I didn't ask this. Okay. Sweet. Well, I fucked up there. Did not like their spots there. That was pretty bad. I uh, never tried SL1 runs. I only saw the first part of that. Give me a second, man. Kill the Mimic. Forgot resin for uh, selling. Wait, resin for what? Uh, Leah, welcome back. What's up? Murphy, I don't know, man. Good question. Is the jailer bug still happening? Uh, there's no bug on them right now. It's just that I screwed up. So I, I was lucky with their placement. But uh, actually, one thing that was weird is the jailer didn't hear the sound cue of the arrow over the head the first time, which didn't make sense. But after that, I screwed up a couple times. Uh, never tried SL1 runs. Bloodborne's the only game you've played through enough to try it. Super fun, though. Yeah, that's that's good, man. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. It's it's harder than SL1, in my opinion. Am I going to be using the bow for Yorm? Uh, Leafurk, yes. We will be. Also, did I sit at this or light it? Yes, I did. It's your boy, Home the Urn Destroyer, coming up. Am um, I keen for the remastered DS1 Red Thirst? Uh, I will see. I'll have to see what they change on it, man. I know I know what's been uh, mentioned so far, but if there's any other stuff that's mentioned that, that piques the interest, I will I will be getting it. Uh, Lachlan, welcome back. Helvy, what's up? I don't know. Good question. Yeah, you can't, you can't sit at that bonfire. I kind of just meant lighting it. But uh, you technically can't sit at it. It's of Alva. All right, we're going to have to switch this back. Uh, what arrows lock them? We're using the large arrows and we're using dark arrows on this. Uh, Death God, what's up, man? Welcome back.
My internet broke so I missed the last 40 seconds. Please restart so that I can see the whole run stream on. About time we get up and turn. Alright, should I grab Storm Ruler to sell it? I think I... Oh, I don't have enough time. Alright, we... <laughs> it's kind of funny. I think I had the situation where I was one arrow short for the Dark Arrows before. The, the frame rate on that fight was trash too. It was like dipping into like 30 FPS for some reason, so I was really worried at the beginning. I don't know why. Might have to lower the settings again or something for that. It could just be like a like a random case, yes. but it was it, the frames were going pretty bad. So, not good. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. 
Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. GG OG Lesson 3. Ah, uh, Subaru, thank you, man, by the way. I, I heard those words. Trying to, trying to give me some sort of jinx. Uh, String, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Dead Pins, welcome back for the second month in a row. Thank you for choosing the resub. I appreciate it. Continue to enjoy your emotes and being a skeleton. As I continue to ask Grey Rat to give me arrows while he probably is tired of seeing me. So I think we're just going to get the bare minimum on this. We'll just keep getting like just the bare minimum so we can get more levels. Because I think that makes more sense. Uh, you can sell the- oh no, you can't sell the Storm Ruler. That's right. You can't- you can't do that. My bad. Okay, so at this point, because we just really don't get that much more damage, I think it's more valuable to have some endurance. Like, we could just do the 40 and then just put everything else into endurance. Uh, Midnight, welcome back, dude. Okay. I think we got everything. Silver Merc, you're gonna have some rest. Good luck. Thanks, man. I'll try my best. Uh, K Witty, welcome back. What's up? You can't drop or destroy it either. Yeah, I think it's because it's like a key item, so they didn't want it to be the case that you couldn't complete Yorm without having Storm Ruler uh, in your inventory. Just, just so there's no way you could sell it before you kill them and then, like, get stuck or something. Uh, what is the furthest run, Shadow, on this game, uh, or on this challenge? Like, literally just the end, man. Very last split. Today, this would be the farthest, though. Uh, Direct Rocket, what's up? Miss watching the streams? Welcome back, man. You have caught them. They run, they run pretty fast, man. They run pretty fast, but sometimes you can catch them, and... I mean, after that, they're yours. Uh, bought DS3 for PC because you wanted a speedrun, and you can't on PS4. Go to buy the game, see your ox. All excited, you get the receipt. You got charged for two codes, and you can't get your money back. Where did you buy it from? Uh, Sir Meowington, what's up? You have four Storm Rulers in your inventory. One day you can make an anti-giant army with the Storm Rulers. Man. That'd be a funny run. Like, you just summon the max amount of people, and then everyone uses Storm Ruler. And it's all, like, weapon art only or something. I don't even know if that'd be possible. Look funny, though. How long is this run, Penguin? It's been a while, man. It's a very slow run. I think checking the time at this point's not even important. It's definitely not as fast as it should be. But it is what it is. Alright, we're going to put on the feather. Actually, we'll do standard on R2 just in case. Alright, let's go.
Okay, that would have been, like, literally if that fight uh, persisted another 10 seconds, that would have been the example that I was going to give of the worst RNG. Uh, it, w it wasn't necessarily, like, completely synced. Like, the attacks were happening roughly in the same time, though, and that would have been, like, pretty much rip. I don't think I would have survived that, so... Definitely got out as soon as we could. I missed some shots on that, and I definitely didn't kill him as fast as I could have, so it was still a pretty bad fight, but... Uh, right there at the very end, that was basically the example of the worst RNG you can get. Or at least that I know of. I don't know, maybe there's something worse. Or maybe there's a way, I don't know. Alright, we gotta do archives, so I'm gonna put on... E. Clorinthy again. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna eat this Blossom before we do the ladder. And then I'll use the other two if we have to Homeward Bone back, just in case. Also, for some reason, I feel like... Should I use the ho the firebomb on the gargoyle? I don't think I should. Or not on the gargoyle, on the, uh... On Sage. I feel like I could just use the arrows on him and I'll be fine, but... The firebomb might help for the second part, so I think I'm gonna keep it on there. So many mate balls. Actually, so much clinch. Well, we're gonna stop GG and we're streamer. gonna... We're gonna That's upgrade why the you're endurance. the best Dark Souls at in the universe. Don't say it's the run you'll disappoint yourself, Monty. <laughs> You're starting to learn. Oh my god, no way. Good fight. But is this R E A L L Y the earned streamer? There's plenty of RNG coming up. Yeah, that's why we need the endurance. That's a good point. Thank you very much for the reminder string. Uh, if you fall off the bridge in that fight, does it count as a hit? You cannot die in this run, T dude, so there's no there's no deaths allowed. So any any kind of death in general is just a no. But, uh, you make a good point, though. It actually is pretty easy to fall off of there. Okay, now strength is scaling me four damage, so maybe... Maybe I don't do endurance. Because I'm not going to get more souls through archives, or at least not that much. I'm just going to go like that. What's harder, Princes or Cinder? Definitely Cinder, man. Uh, Tra, what's up? How's it going, dude? How are you? Time for Brothers of Agony and Frustration. <laughs> Am I sticking with the same bow for this run, Avenging? Uh, we start with the short bow and then we buy the composite bow. Good luck, thanks, man. Tra, I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. All right, we gotta we gotta get a good timing for this blossom. Okay, so this gargoyle right here, unless he gives me the best situation, and you, we're probably going to bring him back over here. Uh, Lost Fox, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Azo, what's up? Let's see. We don't have the god tier RNG this time. 
but I am gonna kill this guy. What? No way. Okay, that's the, okay, that works, but that's really not good though. <laughs> that's really not good. How the fuck did he make it through the space there? Was that just like a random chance? He just did the perfect height jump like right over it or something? Oh my god. All right, well, that was sketchy. All right, that wasn't too bad of an archives. <laughs> Although the gargoyle, I have no idea how he made it into that spot. He like had the perfect fucking height. Like usually for things that have like a collision on them that uh, are like low to the ground, the collision still is there like up in the air. So I'm surprised that he actually was able to make it over that boundary. Making you monk ass, Yellis. That's a, that's a monk ass run, dude. This whole run is monk ass. Uh, map talk, what's up? Definitely more safe than what you were doing before. Gino, that's not what I was talking about, though. That's See how, like, when I waited at the corner, he comes down to that part? Usually, if, if he goes down to the corner and he does anything where he flies, you can just go back, but you can run backwards and he'll get stuck on the wall, then one run back. But if he does an attack that's good, like the charge, uh, you can pass and you'll be fine. So that wasn't what I was talking to you about, though. That was just, like, I was trying to go back and bring him over there to get killed, but he didn't get stuck, though. He just, like, jumped... He, he somehow attacked and then like landed over the the boundary for it so I'm not sure how that happened I guess I guess there's just the chance that he can get through there but oh well it's, it's just something that worked like worked for me so I decided to try it again but it hasn't been tested enough so it's not worth it return the slab dot dot or suffer my curse baby rage yeah, we do need the slab. I, I was on my way to do it. LZ, don't don't be giving me a hard time, man. Thank you, though. Okay. So, for the rest of this, let's just think, like... I guess I said we're only gonna go bit by bit, so let's only get 32 arrows. Oh, still not enough to level? Are you kidding me? And Slayer doesn't have a soul, does he? Damn. Can't sell anything. All right, well, I guess we're kind of stuck in between. The levels wouldn't have worked anyways, unless unless I had just uh, leveled first and then like gotten like a really shitty amount of arrows after, because I had one extra level I could have done before I went through there. But oh well. Bit by bit. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> bit by bit. What's going on, Subaru? God damn it. What are you doing? Jesus. Slayer does have a soul? Well, he doesn't drop one to you, I don't think. Or did I sell it? Oh no, he does have a soul. Never mind. Fuck, I guess I got rid of it already. Damn. That's that's really bad. Jade Davies falling asleep over here. Coffee addicts, what's up? Also, anyone that might have tuned in that I haven't said hi to yet, welcome. Trying to stay relatively focused. I'm kind of just weary right now because both Leorm and Slayer had really bad frame rate compared to the usual. And I know that Slayer can have bad frame rate sometimes, but 
not not Yorm, so I'm kind of a little bit uh, annoyed with that, but I'm sure it'll get better. Usually, Princess and Cinder don't have that bad of frames, but I wouldn't want like an extra risk, right? It's good to play with Xbox One controller, Razi. Uh, you can play with whatever you want, dude. I would recommend this or a DualShock 4. One or the other. Or a 360 controller or a DS3 controller. Any any Sony or Microsoft one is good. Uh, otherwise, I don't know, you might just be getting into something that isn't popular enough to really, you know, have much opinions behind it. But if you're just going for something standard, uh, they're, they're both good. Jenna said hi, Steve. Wait. Je Jenna who? No offense, I mean, like, I'm sure it's a very important Jenna, but, like, who's Jenna, though? I know of more than one Jenna, and I don't know if you know the Jennas that I know, so I don't know. Uh, haven't completed Zero Hit Bone yet? Bow only yet? You mean it's super difficult, it seems impossible, but you have not completed it yet, in Inej. Nah. Not yet. Ah, uh, Death God, thank you, dude. Good luck, princes. Jenna Jameson? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Am I supposed to know? Is that like an actor or something? Alright, uh, what are we doing? I think we got everything ready. Just gonna get rid of all the shitty items.
nearly gave me a Havarti attack. Cheat out is dreamer. Gave you a Havarti attack. Oh man. <laughs> That's a pretty good cheese. Thank you, man. Thank you, Subaru. Oh my god. Update split. Why? Okay, Leon, you're getting like too advanced on the splits. We just did it. Calm down. Radiosity, honestly, man, I used to deny that, but now I'm starting to kind of <laughs> agree with that, honestly. I think you might be right. Could be. Potentially. All right, we're going to sell this. <clears throat> and then, uh, Steve, what are you doing, dude? Jenna still says hi. Okay, so, Je okay, is, is someone, is the Jenna person someone that I know, Steve? Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That's absolutely insane. But, uh, who, like... Uh, had he die? I was hitting Lothric the entire time, so... Or, well, some shots didn't hit him, but... Uh, if you kill Lothric, then they die. Because he's the one that can, can revive them, right? Okay. So, we already have plus 10. We need more arrows, though. First time I've seen princes on this run. That was amazing. First time you saw princes, really? Yeah, they're not that special on this run, but uh, it's I like the first part of it a lot. It's fun. Uh, Fighter, thank you for the host, dude. How was your stream? What's up? If you guys don't fi follow uh, Fighter PL, check him out if you like PvP. He's a great PvP player. Very entertaining, very chill as well. Awesome community. Grandma so You says might have seen his videos. Miller. If you haven't seen them, check it out. Grandma so so Sophia says good luck. Okay, now there's a name for this lady too. Used to just say Grandma, now it's so Sophia. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's see. So we got strength actually coming through with with like three points right there. It's not bad. Or we could just do the endurance again, but endurance isn't really going to save me much in this. Wait, can I get get one more endurance if I want to? Um, soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Legson, thank you for the, the prime sub, man. For the first time in your feeble curse life, you have discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy being a skeleton, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, and yeah, Fighter, thank you again, man. I, really, I didn't even expect that. That caught me off guard. How was your stream? How did it go? Anyone coming from Fighter PL stream or trying to do a no-hit run with only using the bow? Uh, so if you want to know any of the rules, there's a command called exclamation point uh, bow rules, and it'll tell you all the stuff about it. And again, if you haven't followed Fighter PL, you, you must do that, especially if you like PvP in this game. It's like... I would say he's probably the number one person to watch for that right now. Uh, he's made some pretty good videos too. No timer equals perfect skips, yeah. <laughs> no, the funny thing was, dude, I never practiced those, like, specifically. I only, like, went over them when I got to that part in speedrunning. And then when I made files of them and practiced it, dude, it just became so consistent. It was like... I mean, I just assumed that there'd be no point because it's such a simple thing, but uh, it became really consistent once I made files for those. All I had to do was go over for like maybe like five minutes and it was fine. Trusty Jester, what's up? What's the minus one on your mean? Uh, difference is just comparing my best run versus this run. So that's the mid col middle column. Clyamo, what's up? Welcome back. Deadpins, thanks for the good luck. Play Gal's theme? I'm not playing any music for this. We're just listening to the soundtrack. <laughs> I don't think that'd be the best idea. Even though Gal's theme, I actually really didn't like it, and then I kind of grew to like it after listening to the, the Street Fighter V one enough. Like, it actually is pretty good. Okay, let's see. I think we're fine for everything. Uh, yeah, we're good.
at Steve V underscore says Jenna says hi. Hashtag hello YouTubers grubs. This is going on YouTube. Hello, Mom.
the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Good job, loser. Ha ha ha. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Let's go. G to the G man. YouTube, what's up? Good job, streamer. Now do it with one arrow. <laughs> do it with one arrow. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to take everything in. I, my G -G -O -G -G -G. vocabulary is bleh. Oh god. Good job, oh. Squilla. Update split. Man, I was getting mentally tired towards the end of that. Jeez. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna lower the, the volume a little bit on this, uh, these credits. Take it, take it down a notch. All right, there, there is a lot of stuff that I have to catch up on. Give me one moment, guys. Holy shit! That was the hardest any percent run I probably have done or will do. I know it's definitely the worst any percent I've done. I should say that straight off the bat. It's that was that was rough. That was really rough. That particular run was rough too. Jesus, man. Olaf, congratulations. You got some points, man. I'm going to give you your points once uh, everything calms down just a little bit, but... Hopefully everyone enjoyed that. I'm glad if you did get to catch it, especially Fighter PL. Thank you for coming in clutch right before the end to show some people what's, what's going on. Um, there is a lot of shit. Oh my god. Okay, uh... Great. God damn it, what is happening right now? You guys are absolutely- you're not from this planet. You guys are aliens. Everyone here is an alien. You got- you're, you're all Teletubbies. That's the only way. There's no way. This is ridiculous. This is too crazy. My god. All right, so give me give me one second to look at the the Streamlabs dashboard. Holy shit, man! Well, anyone that called it was the run today. You guys aren't jinxers. You've done it. So we got. Let's see. My God. Okay, so I am so. What has happened? I don't even know if I can see all this stuff. I don't think it's even showing up. Uh... Okay, wait. How? How, man? What the hell? I don't know what's more crazy, the run or this. I don't know what's going on. I, my, I don't even know if my stream lab shows everything that just happened. I might not even be able to, to see it. Like, I'm trying to find where it starts. I, it's like blending into the previous day. Wait, let me see. Okay, so... Um, fi okay, there's Fighter PL PL's host. So, Ma uh, Matthew Shesman, thank you for dropping the host. Uh, Subpolar, thank you for the uh, the host as well, man. Subpolaric, I appreciate that. Camps a lot, thank you for the follow. Last Guardian, thank you for the follow. Murph, thank you for the 13 months in a row. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, Matta, Tom Toiler... Susurus, Doable Snail, Nap, Int Gold, Trombone Steve, Michael, Noxtus, YRF, Big Boge, Gaza on Acid, Jerome 515, Frosty Gorgon, uh, Gray Matter, Darkness Smiles, t uh, thank you for the subs, the brand new subs, Toxic Junior, thank you for the follow. 
Steve, thank you for the 5,000 bits. String, thank you for the 400 bits. Ted Pins, thank you for the 2,500. Or, yeah, 2,500 bits. Holy shit. Kello, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Tender, thank you for the 700 bits. Lemonheads, thank you for the 500. Zach, thank you for the 600 bits. King is dead, thank you for the 245 bits. Death God, thank you for the 100 bits. Miata, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Griff, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, F Big Fast, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Taff, thank you for the 500 bits. Everyone else that followed, thank you as well. Holy shit, man, what is happening? There are things that are popping up that say they can't be displayed yet because they're like, they're literally just, they're happening before you've even seen them. Some of those didn't even show up on the alerts yet. Oh my God, dude. This is insane. Uh, Death God, dude, thank you. This is too hype. All right, so basically, uh, if anyone's confused of what's going on, we uh, got the first ever DS3 bow only no hit run. So definitely, definitely a learning experience. Definitely a different kind of uh, grind, but I don't know, man. I'm I'm satisfied. That was that was ridiculous. I can't even like my brain. I can feel my brain. Like I physically feel my brain right now. It's like sliding around in my head. Oh my god. Uh, Fidel Cashgrow, that's a really funny name. Thank you for the brand new sub, man. Welcome. 300, thank you for the bits, dude. Uh, now what? That's a good question. I didn't think we were going to get the run right away at the beginning. Um, we're going to have to figure something out. String theory, what are you doing, dude? All right, the credits are still going, but just this is just going to prove to you that we've beaten the, uh, the NG. So I'm going to begin journey two, and then we're going to quit out and look at the time. I'm going to turn the sound back up again because the credits are really loud and you cannot mute them. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So no one go deaf. So the world might be mended. Please don't go deaf. I almost went deaf right there. I got so two different two different balances for the sound for you guys and for me. So I wasn't sure if you were going deaf Let during any of that. Let be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's just give one last speech with uh, the the Mr. Bean looking fellow, whatever, whatever the the Richard Hammond guy. You gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. All right, that's it. That's it. That was just over three hours for that run too, which is a little slow. But usually, when it comes down to it, on the important runs, they end up being way longer than you expect. Uh, Anthony Stark, thank you for the brand new sub, man. Orige, thank you for the tier 3 sub. Holy shit. Fitzy Jasperson, thank you for the brand new sub as well. Um, this hype is just dumb. This is like silly. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you deserve the subs and donos, man. Congrats ah, on one it, of dude. the most intense things I've ever seen. <laughs> Steve, shit, dude. You already... You're doing too much. You gotta calm down. Seriously. Thank you, but seriously, man. That's like enough. That's cr That's insane. This, like, Jesus, man. Now I gotta do DLC? Uh, yeah, we could do a run of everything with the DLC if you guys wanna try it. I don't know if we'd be able to finish it before the end, but, um, what should we do? That's a good question. Like, I I wanted to do item randomizer right after this, and I wanted to do the bow run with all the DLC. So we could try the bow run with all the DLC. But it's